Zagreus in it. Hades is good. Hi, Ethereal Veil. That is a really cool name, Ethereal Veil. I think I made that one of the fate spells for something. All right. Should be good. Let me just let it load a moment. Can do about it. Remind three of our friends. I wonder about you. Shin and my other bestie. Bipolar Barb. Bipolar Barbie? <laughs> That's a name. I like it. It's fun. Anyway, I've been drawing a lot more off of everything. I'm right. I was waiting to get my axe upgraded. I've heard you've been giving some people a hand around town. Everyone seems really thankful. I'm warning you with this month's best neighbor reward. With a small cash prize. Keep it up. Best neighbor being five dollars is good. The mountain lake has been kind to me lately. I'd like to share my good fortune with you. Ah, sushi from the mountain lake. Yum. What's up, cat? Oh, I missed it. Oh, uh, you want to play Stardew? I want to do some Stardew with some other people some other time. I know Lunar's been finding me to do it because they really want to do it with me. I don't know why they want to do the do with me, but they do. I'm just trying to experience some of the new things on my own because I'm just kind of like that. I'm trying to avoid spoilers more, and I realize that a lot of the games that I played were just spoiled to me. Case in point, Tears of the... And I just came to Breath of the Wild when it first came out. I was just obsessed with watching Breath of the Wild videos and stuff like that because I didn't have it until 2018. And I felt really grumpy to play it that I didn't finish the game when I could have beaten it in, like, 10 minutes until, like... Four years later, in 2022. And I just felt icky for doing that, so I'm gonna not do that anymore if I want to play a game. I'm just not gonna spoil myself. Yes, we will sometime. Emphasis on sometime. Do I need to get Pepper? I need to get Peppers in there. Alright, Pepper, you're going in there. And you can also get the Pepper. And these Peppers are gonna be made into jam. Yeah, it's just like... I don't like spoiling games or anything to people, and I keep on telling people, please do not spoil a certain game. And I've just been sitting here like, oh, I wish I had stuff that I could get because I don't want to go to work as much because stress, but I also want to be able to just do whatever. So I'm just going to be trying to do my best to get like monetized on YouTube and everything. I'm at 152 subscribers now, which is very nifty. We were like last week for freaking like 70 subscribers, which is nice, but still. Okay, I just fully fucking cooked. Ironically, my best recording yet, right? So, I, what's been going on? Your arm all right? How have you been, Sensei? Yeah, I fell off my bike, and I'm doing okay. It's just, I need to get my mind off of it so I can actually freaking heal. So, if you don't mind me occasionally stretching my arm every now and then, yeah. Also, I gotta get eggs so we can drink the mayo. I like how just Concernate made that the meme of the century with it. It's just basically, hey, you can drink the, may the mayo now in Stardew because all of you people want it. And it's just like, everyone's like, fuck yeah, I'm gonna do it everywhere. And it's like, people don't even like mayo that much for real. But it's just adorable seeing the community get together over something so gross. Alright, let's go open some shit. You wanna drink mayo? Let's go. See, that's like the meme of like, haha, the world's flat. It's like, sometime in the future, I could just see people go like, why are we doing this? Just drinking mayonnaise. It's like, I don't know. Our mom and dad seem to like it a lot. Yeah, exactly. It's horrible. It's terrifying. But it's there anyway. Emily needs a tuna. I forgot she needs a tuna. Alright, let's see what we got. Uh, a skeleton. Say, slay six skeletons. I can, I can speak very good. With garbage bread. Delish. Alright, Clint, you gotta open up your door so that I can actually freaking get everything in. You have your lizard, a ducky, and two chickens, so I have plenty of mayo to sell. Okay, lizard mayo sounds disgusting. And I keep on remembering it's an actual thing you can make, and. Uh. Ugh. I'm so glad we can process geodes now. Mountain totem. I'll take it. Well, it's called dinosaur mayo when processed. Well, still. They're big old lizards. Alright, so I gotta slay some skellies and also get a tuna for Emily. Which, I already have one. Just not one that she can have forever. Uh, you. I like the blue there.
Blizzard sounds so rude. Blizzard is adorable, for a word. Everyone seems a little happier on the weekends, don't you think? Yes, because we don't have to work as much, except for some of us. <laughs> I don't know, I forgot to put bait in there. I should go kill some bugs. They're called Pepper Rex. I mean, that sounds cute and all, but that just makes me think of a very spicy Yoshi. I smell a barbecue. I want barbecue. All this time I've been thinking about getting a barbecue, and it's like, ugh. I just want to grill, cook things on a campfire, make burgers and chicken speedies. Mmm. Kebabs. Kebab. Kebab. Grill. I want to grill pizza again. That was one of the best experiences I made. This is really fucking slow without bait. I'm gonna go buy some. Alright, Willie, you better give me some bait. Oh! Ahoy! Come in, make yourself at home. Mmm. Let's touch the gunk. Ah, oh, that's a good stuff. The fish go crazy for it. Just to make sure to wash your hands off after dipping them in those juices. The aroma has been known to linger for up to seven weeks, miss. Mmm. Nope. So, you've been catching a lot of fish? Yep. Been a good witch fish. Yes. Ahoy, me matey! Aha, lady after me own heart. Will, you're like 60. I'm 155. 157. 158. You can't date me. You can always count on a lady who fishes. That's what me old pappy used to say at least. Ha ha! Well, keep it going. If you can catch every fish in these waters, I've got a special prize waiting for ye. Yay. Did everything okay? I well, business has been tough lately. I came here to buy bait. It all started about the same time that old community center fell to ruin. We fish just didn't sell like they used to. Age gap, shy, date, no. <laughs> I'm working double time just to make ends meet. You've been selling your fish? No time for me own project. But if things picked up with the cup around here, I might have the time to show you something special. Hey, hey, yep, she's back there. An old friend that's seen better days. <laughs> Spin. Someday, miss, you'll see what I mean. Alright. Can I have some bait so I can get... Um... Fuck! He disappeared. Great. Oh, uh, we did that for a little bit of fluff, but that's about it. Oh, well. So, you decide to go into the fish market and the gold guy isn't going to sell you some worms. What do you do? Suffer. We suffer. We have to get her a tuna and we gotta like it. Do you know about the new machine in the store? Yeah, I can get, like, bobbers and stuff, right? Actually, let me go check it out. Yeah, it's on the right-hand side. Let's... Bobber style. Wait, that actually changed it. Fitchin! You lock more of the kinds of fish you catch. Okay. I assume there's like extra ones for the rare fish, right? Alright, fish, you gotta do your fishy things. Fish. That's a red mullet. We I have not caught a red mullet. Oh, right, I've been spending so much time in the mines lately. Meh. Doughboy, please do not spoil things. That's all I ask. No spoil for Sensei. Oy. It's fine, just... Why can't you use fish as bait? Because they're dumb and they won't let me use bugs. I mean, whatever. But yeah, it's like to make bait, it's bug meat, which is decent, but it's still the. Ooh, that felt fucky. Spoil sense and I will suplex your grand. Why would you suplex their grandma? She did nothing wrong. Most grandmas would suplex you. 
Except for this one that's like a stupid, stupid ignorant person that does not uh, do anything right at the store I work at. Oh! Yeah, that's why you also don't do that, Lucky. Jeez, Lucky! We're going a bit hard, I see. <laughs> it's the number one cause of grandma fatality, suplex three. Why are you all so vicious? Do not hurt the grandmas. Okay, there's a tuna for Emily. There's a thunderstorm brewing outside. Good. It's one of those ones that has that low rolling thunder. Mmm. Alright. Hi, Evelyn. Yeah, do not suplex the grandma. She is a good person. Be careful out there, dear. You could get sunburned. Oh, I know. I'll burn up in two seconds. Want to play a cruel uh, joke on Abigail? Give her clay. Hi. Need something? Do you have clay? Alright. I gotta give Emily some tuna. Too much wrestling. This is just... The idea that every grandma just wrestles is great. Ooh, stuffing. You know, I'll take a stuffing. Just in the middle of the summer, stuffing. You can get me many things, but do you like bread? Exquisite cuisine. You know what I like, Yang, right? Mmm, he likes bread. How much does he like bread, though? Oh, that's normal. Oh, well. You're getting my storm from yesterday. Mmm. You know, I've been so bored at work that I've just been tired of listening to him play music, so I've just been listening to all sorts of, like, horror stories, and some of them really make me feel just more curious than afraid. It's like, oh yeah, all these, like, viruses and everything, and then there's the rules series, where it's like, oh right, I got this new job, and there's this weird set of rules. And it's like, some of them actually go into detail, like, this is why you should always follow them. But then some of them were just like, okay, sure. But still, some of them are just weird. But one of them really stood out that was just like, all the radio station ones just make me feel like, ooh, I wanted to like find out some of the secrets of the radio and stuff. It just has that mood for me. Can I do anything for you? Take care. Nope. Too bad, I won't. Close on once. You better not be a Wednesday randomly. Hello, Pierre. I'm gonna buy some tomates. Just cause. It's never really a good time to eat a refreshing salad, don't you think? I hate salad! You don't make friends with salad. Hello, Shane. Renting a room from Marnie at a really good price. Small, but I can't complain. Mmm. Diablo 4 is tedious. Mmm. Hi, Fluffy! Alright. Where is the Emily? There you are. You wanted some tuna? Here you go. So you saw the notes I posted. Thanks so much. Let's see. Here's what I owe you. Yay. I'll take my 300 gold. Paid for my stuffing a bit. Got this duty today and there's a record of my workmates banning me or go, Hey, do you know how to do this? It's so nice. Yeah! Being the only one that knows how shit works around there just because you're curious or just because you just want to know, just so it makes your job easier, is kind of annoying. Since they found Stuna more at five. Look, the tail has to be used for something. It's barred for your pleasure. Anywho, where the fuck do I actually plant these things? Uh, you. Wait, Doug, I can do that. Alrighty. I could probably plant two more with just random seeds. You know. I never really stopped to notice the ambiance in this game. Beautiful. Uh, better deforce some things. Anyway. Let's put the mayo. Good for selling. And for eating. Just beautiful birds chirping. I want to kill them all. <laughs> All right. Sell the mayo. Only weird, but I actually like mayo. See, here's the thing. I don't like American mayo. 
because it just doesn't taste good. And people used it on everything. I'm the same way with freaking Moose Tracks ice cream and a bunch of other foods. Like, it always just never worked for me. Just, I'll take any weird mustard you can muster. But I do not like mayo. There's just no getting around it. I've tried all these ways. I mean, sometimes, but my least favorite thing is someone that I used to live with would constantly use the chicken that I wanted to use for other things. And would cover it in mayo, and then bread it. And it's like, okay, the first time it was kind of a pleasant surprise, it tasted okay, but you don't need to make it eight times a month with leftovers every single time for like three days. Kind of want some other chicken dishes. Be like Moose Tracks ice cream? More for you then. I've had it way too many times, and it just doesn't taste good. It's sickeningly sweet. Like, I like cinnamon and other spiced desserts. Like, I would love... I would absolutely demolish an apple spice cake with, like, cinnamon, chunks of apple in it, nutmeg, cardamom, sage, a bit of pepper and salt, and nice brown sugar instead of normal sugar. But I would not want just blech. And yeah, cutie mayo is decent, but here's the thing. I never liked eggs for the longest time until I cooked them. So it might just be a thing of the person's way of cooking it was just disgusting. And I just ugh. Seraphim, hello! Haven't seen you in forever. How have you been? It's good to see you. We're talking food. Because I like food. Hi, Char. Been good? Good. Hopefully better than me. Oof. These past few days have been terrible. I can't even wash the dishes right now because my hand's bandaged. Eggs are very easy to turn it into unappetizing rubbery blabs of protein. Exactly. Because most people that I had eggs from would make terrible omelets or just scramble. Like most restaurants I'd go to for like... Oh, shit. Oh, hold on. I unplugged my mic. Oh, my mic, my headphones. There we go. Is it all good? You can still hear? Good. But yeah, most people I would actually get eggs from at, like, restaurants or whatever just didn't know how to actually cook them. So I'm sitting there wondering... Oh, uh, I'm... Uh, wondering why I just hate eggs so much. Turns out it's just people don't know how to fucking cook eggs properly. And I like it when eggs are with something else. Like, I fucking love fried rice. I love toad in the hole, egg in the basket, whatever you want to call it. That is my jam. But if you give me, like, an omelet with terrible cooking stuff, yeah. Throwing out a sink full of unwashed dishes, so I feel that, yeah. And yeah, I feel like I would like sunny side up if I were to have any egg. I just want it to, like, be crispy on the bottom and everything. Like, have some texture. Your wrist is better, but I'm still hurting. You sprained it three weeks ago. Aww. Poor thing. Yeah, I fell off my bike yesterday, so I'm kind of recovering from that. My left arm is not as good because it feels like I sprained, I strained it, not sprained it. Like, when I landed it, it feels bruised. See, I've never tried boiled eggs with, like, ramen or anything. I'm tempted to try that. Uh, looks like a storm's approaching. Hooray! Baked fish. Whenever I make this one at home, my two cats go bananas. I need a second chef around you can keep them from hopping on the counter for a bite. Just make sure the fish is fresh. Perfectly caught with your own rod. And watch as I just place the fish on a bed of spring greens. Mmm. Baked fish is yummy. I read an article about you in the local paper. So impressed that you're progress in the farm. Keep this up and dear your old dad may be rest retiring in Earn Island's luxury bungalow after all. And the squash is ready. A current deal with squash that is harvested while well, immature and still tender. Alright. Immature squash. I can make many jokes about that. Plant some weird flowers down here. Alright, I'm gonna go to the mine so I can get more sprinkler materials for later. Throw some pork belly and chili oil in there with some bok choy and bamboo shoots. Ugh. 
See, that's the thing. It's like, I'm not a big pork fan, but when it's done right, it's done right. Like, I hate bacon because it always makes me sick because people don't understand. Maybe don't put sodium nitrite in everything because that makes my stomach keel over in pain and makes me want to never walk again. Meanwhile, other things that are actual natural or not preserved with sodium nitrite, I feel happy enjoying. But still, ugh. Brain left for us and dislocated left on us, the hand that hurts. We're flipping my bike on a rock and trying to catch myself. Ugh. Yeah, uh, bikes are not the problem, people, just so you all know. It's a lot of infrastructure. Like, you can be as careful as you can on bikes, but on some days, they just fuck you over so hard because people don't understand how to drive, too. Because they're like, oh, you can't bike on the sidewalk. That's illegal. It's like, too bad. There's no bike lane. And the law says if there's no bike lane present, the sidewalk's good. But if there's no sidewalk present, we have to bike in the road. And I really do not like having to bike in the road. People will think they own the road. Spoiler alert, most people don't pay enough taxes to actually do that, but still. Sort of grumpy for other reasons. Hmm. Gonna have to squeeze the koi fox and then make sure all the grumpiness comes out. Yeah, 100%. Or people will put things in it. Like, there's this one mattress shop that puts out a sign, and I have purposely ran into it just so that they know that, hey, maybe you don't have the sign there. They're our roads, comrade. Exactly! Like, it's a public infrastructure thing. You are not allowed to own the road. Underdog, thank you for following. Welcome to Akitui Academy. Hope you have a lovely time while you're here. I gotta go run and get my axe. And I should probably bring some food. Alright, get food. Food! I'm stopping the shrimp and don't worry. Your dad insists on yelling at every cyclist because he's gonna hate so much. Okay, how about this? Yell at him for yelling at every cyclist and ask him, it's like, okay, what if you were recycling out there? Dang, I refused your tax return so many times, I had to mail them, and now I got a six weeks to get it. Ugh. Yeah, they need to smarten up at the tax area. I'm looking for someone to bring me ten coal to aid the understanding of local material. Okay, doable. I'll guess another ticket anyway. Gotta raid everyone's trash bins. For more garbage bread. Ah, garbage bread. You have saved many a run. So I got a call to see them if I was assigned a pin. I didn't know about one last year. I had no issue. Yeah! It is a bit ridiculous. Hey, can I have my pick? I don't have my pickaxe. My normal axe. Thank you. Now I must go. Now my people need me. Can you imagine just fucking seeing that? Seriously. Uh, hello, Linus. It's an easier time of year for me. I don't have to worry about staying warm. Yay! But some days it gets very hot. Uh, I just want to hug Linus. I mean, he bathes, so he's good. But still, he's a nice person. He's a good boy and he loves bagels. Simsor 70? Yes! All right, we're on the hunt for coal and also skelly bobs. They're good boys. Any iron is very much appreciated too. Uh, the somber piano music of the ice area. I missed it. A little bit. But still. That's one skelly bob. Die, 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 die. Timely die. We're just grumbly. Indeed. Because it's always a lot of other people's faults for us being grumbly. Like, we can sleep kind of weird and everything. We can have issues when we wake up. But when it's other people's fault, you know it's like ten times worse. Because it's other people's fault. You did nothing wrong in some situations. It's just them purposely doing it, or accidentally doing it, and it's like, yeah, it's not a problem. Spoiler, it is a problem. 
Gonna get a nice treat and have lots for my trip. I know, right? Actually, when are you going on your trip? Alright, down the bread. No bat. Alright, Skelly. I just realized I can go to, like, the coal sprite layer. There we go. Smack, smack. End of June to the end of July. Right! That's why we weren't gonna do it until August. For the Fate TTRPG. I'm gonna make sure, like, everything's okay, because I really want to do that soon. Like, seriously, I am just... Ugh. Okay, skellies are dead. I'm actually going to go to the coal sprite zone. Because they usually drop coal. And I need coal. You want to go on a trip sometime? I want to go on a trip again, too. It just feels right. Because I want to travel. More somber piano music. All right, let's eat some sushi. I want to really mod this game sometime. We road tripping? I don't think I want to road trip that much. I think I just want to, like, enjoy things. But here's the thing. I like road trips when they are in the middle of winter. I'm weird like that. Like, I like the idea of going around random towns in the Northeast. Just going on, like, Christmas trips and everything. Middle of winter. Because why not, right? One coal? Three coal. Alright. The boils are dying. Yeah, I like the idea of it. It just feels nicer. Not knowing where you're going all the time. Feeling free to do whatever the fuck you want to do. Oh my god, that's just my arm, but ah. I know a lot of fact that everyone wants me to, to take this trip. Yes! Oh, Yuri shell in here. Oh, gotcha. Driving through a freaking blizzard was less fun. Look, Tech, that time when we were together doing that when we were getting pizza was great. I had fun doing that. Don't worry, we'll get much more pizza later. And now it's sunny! This weather around here is insane. Okay, any more? Yes, the boys. Many boys. They give me much coal. Alright, you. Give me your coal. Okay. Just need two more pieces and we'll be good. Did someone call for a person with years of winter driving experience? I mean, yeah. Aren't you in Pennsylvania too, Fluffy? It's like, we could easily just go down and see you. There we go. Alright, let's get out of here. Let's blow this popsicle stand. Alright, gotta go see the wizard. The Ozard of Wiz. And the bunny. Hmm. You need a vacation, but you don't like missing out on front streams? Then just wait till night, because it's like, Japan's kind of like 12 hours ahead of us and behind us, depending on it. Don't forget that 90% of my daily commute is back roads in the mountain in the last seven years, indeed in Pennsylvania. Exactly, because we're close together then. You know what would be funny is if you randomly saw me at the store I work at because it's on the border. Or like, close enough to the border. I think it's like 10 miles away from the border, but still. Canada's going to relax and think possibly. No, wait, it's not 10 miles away from the border. It's like, five. Yeah, if you randomly came to the store I work at, I would have freaked out. Like, I have a very easy-to-recognize voice. 
The only issue is I'm kind of like grungly and just tired at work. Grungly. <laughs> I'm fucking grungly. And it's like 4 a.m. there. Yeah, it's about the same time. I always joke that that's why I'm like awake at odd hours. It's like my uh, internal clock's on Tokyo time. Marns. Getting drunk alone on a Sunday night? More impressive than you think. Alright, where is... Wait. Oh, fuck. I gotta go check on the wizard first. I'm gonna go see Clint tomorrow. Or he'll probably be at the bar. If I was win, I'll knock back the cold one to celebrate. Did they lose? I'll have a cold one to drown my sorrows. Mmm. Okay, now I'm just thinking of him having the strong bad voice. Like, a nice cool one on a strong summer evening is very refreshing. Your voice is damaged and sad. Tech, your voice is good. Why do you hate it? Bird and I are South South PA. I know, but still. Oh shit. Hey, lady. Hey, lady. Uh, pizza stirred in cockle. Mmm. I could. I will. We're going coffee. Do I need a cockle? No. I need a battery and a radio more, though. Hmm. Feels like the only thing going for me. Meh. Hi! You ever ever go out and urge exploring Yang Rang? Okay, pretend you just want a free vacation. Where would you go? Uh, the old gnarled forest. Sounds wonderful. Heck yeah! Alright, you. The elementals are pleased with the job you did. Here's your payment, as promised. Thank you. Beautiful. Ah, woo. It's all one onion blast sounding. You're good. Also, hi, Ark. What's the dog up to? Honestly, I kind of want to play more For the King tonight, but I may not. Hmm. Ark is a good dog. You're at work? <laughs> oh, no, no. That stays in. That stays in. That stays in. Y'all gonna spoil me? What do you mean, spoil you? Oh, my gosh. You're worrying me now. I'm sorry, I want to put you in the vest that says dog on duty. But just the best. You brought the ores I requested? Thank you. I like to inspect local ores from time to time. Keep the track of quality and abundance. And to see... Alright. Thank you. You can keep these ones. And here's your payment. That's promised. Cool. Spelling to make hot ones. Yeah, exactly. But yeah, I'm just thinking of the dog on duty sweater, but it's just the sweater. Hey, Lewis. Are you growing any blueberries on your farm? I do enjoy a fresh blueberry. Give. Mmm. Tea. Alright, we got a bunch of garbage. Garbage? Garbage. Why only the vest? Because it'd be hilarious to see you flustered. Like, on all fours, just flustered as fuck. It'd be great. So why not, right? Hmm. Oh, the dog is messaging me. I think recently things are getting rougher for me because I, I'm starting to get more cynical about things. I don't know why. I mean... Oh, uh, Riddle. Riddle is... Okay, here's the thing. Freaking... Mm. He's being very nice and he's making sure that I, like, actually give good advice and everything. And that I'm giving him good feedback. It's like, I'm one of those people he can confide in, and I'm like, fucking, I love having people, like, actually depend on me. I am the head pat slut. <laughs> Alright, get in there, everyone. Alright, get in there. Jam and pickles. 
All right, what to pickle next? Pepper jam and horseradish, maybe? With cauliflower. Hi, Puff! That was the pretty burb. The pretty burb. Uh, how much cold wood do I have? I need more wood. Puff, puff, puff. Alright, pickle leeks. I might actually try giving out some pickles. Actually, no. Jam. The pickle le leeks look weird, but I guess they're gonna be tasty eventually. Oh, can't forget the mayonnaise. Herb is okay, not pretty. You isn't the pretty. I would agree on some standards, but my hair is a bit of a wreck, so I'm not as pretty as I could be. I'm trying my best to start understanding and accepting compliments. Don't worry. I'm doing my best. Got computer problems? No! Profit. Brad's brush. Brushy, 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 brushy time. No. No brushy time. What do you mean my orange tree wasn't able to grow last night? You're always pretty and pretty. I'm happy that you're doing better with the compliments. Yeah, I'm trying to do that. It just feels wrong and wonky and I... Uh... More storm. Wait, I can upgrade my watering can. How are you doing? I'm close to some instructions on how to make one of my favorite fish recipes. Linus. Thank you. Alright. Uh, we need more copper. Shit. I am one copper short. Oh, I'm one copper short. Feels bad. Yeah, why was my orange tree not able to grow last night? Don't mind me, just grabbing all my goodies. Oh, that's done. Radish is done, too. Good, 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 good. Now to plant all these other mishmash crops. More summer squash, coffee, some summer seeds, melons, and that. Alright. And coffee. Green tea. Some melons, even though I've got two of my own already. And mixed flowers. Mmm, I need more seeds. I love to try New York City bagels sometimes. They look so big. They are really fucking good. I will flat out tell you. Mian! Since you're getting better at accepting compliments, does mean you're willing to- No! A Q is one thing I will not accept at the moment. That is one thing that I'm still not likely going to do. And I forgot to check the bats recently. We probably have a bunch of fruit waiting for us. <laughs> one fruit! Thank you, bats! Ugh. Fucking bats. Alright, what is the cause of the orange tree now? Stop crowding my orange tree, everyone. Where cute things become cute. I don't want to become cute on that sense, temporarily. I want to actually... Alright, Zeus, I'll shut up. I actually want to feel cute in some senses where I actually don't feel bad being called that. Because, you know, it's just... Sometimes it doesn't feel right. What about hot? I can accept hot. That feels a bit better. I've lost more weight and I actually have some proper volume in places that actually need the volume, rather than things that should not have a volume. Still, I'm just... Ugh. It's hard. It is very hard to accept things. You know? Just some things just don't feel right. Alright. No, pretty is not acceptable. Understandable. Hmm. Zeus wants you to accept that you're cute. I am not cute. We've been over this before. Many, many times. And I humbly refuse. I gotta go in and actually upgrade my watering can. Because it's raining for once. 
All right, whose birthday? Oh, it's Gus's birthday, actually. Mmm. I should give Gus something nice. Maybe some ingredients. Is humility or stubbornness? I don't know. It just doesn't feel right. You know, like so many things just don't feel right sometimes. And yeah, reading stuff today made me think. Oh, okay. Yeah, I see. Zing splurts with her. He has to get past me. Annie willing to fucking duke it out with Greco-Roman gods. Oh my gosh, it's amazing. It would be a good day to explore the mines. Who knows? You might find some rare ore. I will, because I need to go get freaking copper. Deluxe speed grow. Ocean totem. Corn. All right, I already have some stuff down. I already have that. That's actually all I need. Thank you. All right, I'm going fishing today instead. See ya. You're pretty. Am I the only one that's still on Annie's back flap message? Apparently. What? Wait, what? Annie, please! <laughs> Chat was going too fast to actually fucking see it. Annie, please. I know you want to eat my cooking, but still. Calm down there, Thunder Gods. I swear, all of you are just going to go insane about some crazy things I say just because. Ugh. You haven't lost your ass either. Grumble, grumble, grumble. Ugh. All right, you need to quick give me some copper. Or will both of you. No! Clap, 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 get gluten, get gluten, get gluten. The frustrations of making bread. <laughs> the frustrations of breeding bread. Hi there! No! Mm. Fucking just destroyed my crop. Uh, I can't even build the freaking thing. Oh, that was something I actually wanted to see grow too with the mixed flower seeds. Mm, I'm gonna find some revenge. I'm gonna get revenge. That looks more interesting in the rain, don't you think? Yes, it does. That's beautiful. Should've been talking shit about Zeus. Zeus can suck it! I've got some summer seeds available. You better stock up. I will if you stop badgering me about them. Grumble. Give me some melon seeds and I'm gonna be on my way. Thanks a lot, Officer Bitch Tets. Art of Zeus and Food of Friday's win. Oh my god! Do not draw me fucking Zeus! Oh my gosh. Okay, but gender bending Hades Zeus would be a fun task. I just realized I could have bought copper from you, but that's fine. Just take that. Second time she warped in here, what the fuck is she doing? Oh, worms. Play. Play. Yeah, thanks for all the play, worms. Gender bend stuff can be fun. Says the dog that is asking why everyone wants to gender bend him. Worm. What if it was Lady Zeus? Warm? The Warms. Yeah, asks the dog. 
asking why everyone wants to gender bend him. You kind of just said your own reason to do that. That's sure it is, Ark. You don't want the bonkers, but the honkers, the honkers, the booba, the fun bags, the chest melons, the thickness. Okay, Ark, I'm going to give you something that's kind of cursed, but it's blessed for everyone else. Only cursed for you. What if, and hear me out, we put you in some clothes that reveal the tummy? <laughs> then you will become your fetish. Hmm? You can't get the girlfriend, so you'll just become the girlfriend yourself. You can blush, but you know you want to. We'll put you in some nice tech wear, some nice sneakers and everything. <laughs> Wait, Lucky, what do you mean by mood? <laughs> Am I cracking eggs here? Making the mother of all omelets here. <laughs> I'm making the mother of all omelets, Eddie. Can't worry. Can't stop breaking them. Can't worry about a few broken eggs. I'm just laughing at the idea of that. Oh my gosh. Crack all the eggs with a fucking sledgehammer. I will not rest until all the guys that want to be cute girls are happily wearing dresses. You are not an egg. So the egg says. I mean, Ark, I need some art training. I'm going to be drawing exclusively girls for the most of it, so... Crick crack, give them a rack. You can't pull off any dresses. Not with that attitude, Lucky. We'll buy all the expensive bra forms and everything for you. We'll get you in some nice makeup. Nothing too heavy. We don't want to make you look like a drag queen. Unless you want to. Because some people really pull that look off well. Anybody can wear a dress. Exactly, Puff. Here at Akitoi Academy, anyone is allowed to express themselves in any way that is healthy and constructive. Wait, do I need the better tuna for it, or just a tuna tuna? No, I need an actual tuna for that. Okay. You're doomed. <laughs> Ark! Onichan is done for. <laughs> You know why I say that. There's worse fates. I mean... Welcome to Akito Academy. Kenshin the Lab Rat. Hope you have a wonderful time here. Don't mind me. Just start hacking a bunch of eggs. Like your shoulders are too broad and look like an anemic Slenderman. Okay, but here's the thing. Broad shoulders on anyone can make some dresses really fucking good. There are girls with broad shoulders, and it works with dresses. Not to mention, we can put a coat on you to make the dress look more or basic for you. Like, it flows well with your body. and Or a shawl or something. That would look really cute. Plus, you have a shitty beard at the moment. That's just a bit of shaving or some plucking or some hair removal cream. Speaking of which, I got some for my legs, and I need to use it again. I'm just going to wait to use it because it said, Don't use it when you have any wounds. Exactly. Thanks for the head pats. I hear a pleated dress coming along. Exactly. Like, we're going to get you in a nice, very beautiful dress that complements your eyes and everything. Old Mariner. Hate removal cream, the burns. It doesn't burn for me, actually. It just tingles slightly. The seasonal dress migration. <laughs> oh my gosh. You all are cute. You prefer suits, to be honest? We could do both. Honestly, pulling off the handsome lady look is very nice for some people. 
Hair removal cream always leaves a rash. That might be an issue for you because I had no issues with the one that I got. Oh, it's locked. Oh, well. It's almost sundress season. Oh my gosh, it's almost time to get railed in a sundress, everyone. Sundresses are peak fashion for sex. I'm not kidding. Do you understand why they're peak fashion for sex? Like, seriously. You can just lift up the sundress and it's very good for all that. You can move off the straps with ease to expose the top. It's very nice. I just need sloppy then for that. Yeah, Ark, the railing in a sundress will become a meme. It'll be great. Sherry's gonna wear one. And you don't want to upset the growing bear now, do you? See, I'm just trying to keep my mind off of all the pain and suffering that I have with just everything right now with my arm. So I'm just being a horny fucking slut. You're a man dying of thirst watching everyone else drown. Don't worry, Fluffy. We'll find you someone. Same with Lucky and everyone else. Granted, a lot of you people just need someone to just give you instructions in life. Not like anything else. You gotta find someone like a manager to basically date for some of you. Slowly sliding hot. Oh, let me fix under Lucky Star. Yeah. Yeah, just slide the Oni girls into his pocket. We have so much to freaking work with later. Manager to do what? Just make schedules for you. Because some people are just terrible at making any form of long-term commitments. Hello, I exist. But still. So far, it only works on men. Hey! You never know! You might be getting railed in a sundress. <laughs> oh my gosh. That is loud. Do I need to pull out the old me with the leash for proof that I can eat? Oh my gosh. Office ladies. Office ladies are good. We love our office ladies here. I'm supposed to be getting moss. Where the fuck is the moss? Moss, I've come to bargain. Hello, slime. Plus 10 out of 10 times everyone I like is taking or looking for a third. I mean, why not? I know why, I'm just asking. Look, sometimes being the third is interesting for others. But for some, it's not their thing. Oh, jeez. Like, moving my arm up in a specific way hurts, but it's not like hurt hurt, it's just annoying. So it feels more like I just pulled a muscle, if anything, but still. It's just weird. Alright, my orange tree is right there. I'm gonna actually get more grass away from it. Okay, it should... After the sun should be all clear. I see those side eyes, Tech. I know what you're planning. I need to do the cutter at the time, so I won't. No, lucky. Can oh my gosh. All right, we chopped enough trees. I mean, don't you want to be bullied by, like, two hot girls that are just wanting to just put you between them? The cat is snuggled up in the bed. And just kind of just shove you into their crotches. Um... Trapper. Oh, shit! Foraging. Um... Gatherer. That I'm okay with. So you want to be, like... What's, like, the female version of being spit-roast? Like, ever? I mean, you just gotta put yourself out there. Just say you wanna be fucked hard. And tomorrow's gonna be clear and sunny. 
Peppers! The bloobs are almost done, too. Farming five? Farming... No, farming six. Okay. Lucky's tired of being submissive and breedable. He wants to be... He, <laughs> he wants to be thrown and readable. Uh, I'm gonna actually just take all the spring onions and just destroy them. Something, something to turn Lucky into the lady in the tram spaghetti seat. Oh my gosh! The thing about relationships is that they have to be least expected. Exactly! So sometimes you actually looking for a relationship could be an issue. You never know. <sighs> you all having fun in here? Meet and meet. You're all getting happy. Not that you shouldn't look, but trying too hard is one thing for sure. Yeah, don't notice me at all. That's kept giving me, me and my boyfriend looking for a third or a single mother of two. I mean, that might just be like a bot thing. I mean, Lucky, do you understand with the voice some people would gladly call you daddy? I know there are people out there that would do that. Alright, the main thing I gotta do is get some bug meat. I also want to get deeper in the mines because floor 80 might have some good loot. Alright. Oh, I forgot to give Gus a gift. No! Uh, dust sprites. 960 gold for killing 16. That's doable. I'm not sure I'm at with dating right now. I mean, Ark, do you understand someone might just pick you up randomly and just like, this is my small boy and he's mine now. Small personality-wise, because meek. Doggo afraid. Dating sites are just bad, unfortunately. A lot of them are, but I find it even funnier that a lot of them are just freaking, like, sausage fest because people don't make them proper. And they think, like, oh, we're gonna make so many people for our edgy site for old men or something like that. You're not afraid? You're not small? I mean, Ark, you can, ha you can be on the knees begging very quickly in the right scenarios. Alright, let's get to floor 80 and then do the quest. I'll make Rosmodius happy at least. I'm at least gonna run around the floor and see what's good. Yeah. I mean, some men are happy that it's all men. Because some people are just very desperate and sad and wanting to do things, but it's like, they go about it the wrong way. And that's just because they think that it's the best way to do, but not everything like that is good. And some people just need a little bit of affirmation and care, and to talk about their emotions more with other people rather than just love. You! Bully slime to get loot! I'll take the glow ring, jeez, finally. Out oh, freaking time I got one. So it's gating sites? I mean, yeah. Yeah. It's not just gonna be girls just showing their chest everything. I was gonna say something else, but still. Uh, to quote a show, if I ever go to a coffee shop where a girl reading my favorite book and humming the tune that's been stuck in my head all week, and I'd be like, oh, wow, maybe she's the one. Now I'm just knowing the chick is going to take the last damn donut at the store. Wow. I mean, some people are like that with it, but still. Give me your coal. Apparently the coal bags and the carts now refresh at the end of every year. Which is very nifty. Another reason to go back to the earlier floors is always appreciated. Alrighty. Oh, there's just an opening right there. Okay. No other crates? No other crates. Okay.
Yeah, exactly. I would say just avoid online dating for the most part. I just eat a bunch of onions. All right, we're good. Die, Skelly, die. Bite the onions. Drink the mayo. Just have tuna salad in your stomach waiting for there. Uh, tuna salad, egg salad. Hmm. You want to know the secret about dating? You are likely to find a meaningful relationship. You're freaking out and how to be happy with that one. Exactly! Which is why I think my first three failed. Glad number four worked out, though. Like, seriously. The first thing you want to do is, like, be friends with someone, at least. Or, like, hey, this person seems cool. I can at least handle being around them for extended periods of time outside of dating. Like, that's generally what you want. Dark Boots! We are stepping ever further to Goth Mommy. Mmm. Alright, time to go up there and just beat up some goo. Alright. One. Give me your roots. Ooh, scroll. Why well, yeah, I already have that? Fuck. Eat all the onions. You just struggle a lot, and that's okay to struggle. Like, struggling and failing is a normal part. You're not going to just coast around everything and be immediately perfect. Heck, Annie and I were friends for like two e not two years. You know, like two years before we were started even dating. But still, it's like we love each other and that's all there is to it. Yeah, take care of yourself, exactly. Because then you won't become dependent on the person and if the relationship goes south, then you can actually get out and use reason and logic rather than, but I love this person. It's like, do you sometimes when you're feeling kind of iffy? Or is it just that the person was there for a moment? Because sometimes it's literally just the person was there for some people. There's Dwarf Troll Thor, geez. I need number three, uh, number two, three, number two. Yeah, I need number two. Yeah, look, you gotta fix that. Because a lot of dating is just asking questions and actually figuring out like, hey, this person is normal. Don't worry. Goo. Not goo, dusty boys. I just want like little bean bags of these guys to throw around at people. Chuck them. Like, I had to do this weird motion just to scratch my eye. Is it you would date someone to determine if you want to marry them? Well, not only that, it's like, maybe you just want to try dating someone. Like, don't just do that just to marry someone. Ugh. Like, sometimes you just want to date someone. Sometimes they just sit nicely there for you. They bring you all the good happy thoughts and you just want to, like, see. And besides, dating does not have to lead to sex. Remember, kids, no means no. We practice consent here. <laughs> Unless you're a freaking crazy person and I'm just like, I could draw myself doing the do with you and you will be very grateful I did. Run! I have the blood of your allies on me. Alright, just one more. Now, did I make a staircase? Look, if someone was angry with me, and they were like, Oh, you're such a horny person. It's so gross. Meanwhile, I mean, it's like, I will draw me fucking you. It's like, hey, who's your favorite character? 
<laughs> I'll draw them fucking you. Hmm. There's no race to find love, Lucky. Sit down. We're going to talk about this. There is no race to find any kind of romance or do things that are quote-unquote life goals. It's your life. You are in charge of it. And you're the one that is meant to find out what you want. Do you want a relationship immediately or just to feel good about yourself so that you can compare yourself to others? Because there's a lot of people out there that will gladly help you and just help you feel good without needing to fall in love. And I'm kind of the same back then. It's like, I was kind of looking at everyone going like, I to really do some things to feel better about myself. Meanwhile, me thinking like, no, I don't need love. What I need most is to feel good about myself, but still. Exactly, it's time to ask yourself the big questions. Who are you? And what do you want? Not kidding, that's actually a good thing to ask yourself from time to time. Like, what do you specifically want? Who likes spring onions, by the way? Spring onion starter. Harvey, Leia, and Linus. Meh, everyone just likes them. Okay. So, if you can find out what makes you tick, life becomes immediately better. There's no way about going it that is going to be any easier than just thinking, oh, I'm just going to do this. No, you are meant to find out what you like and what makes you happy. Why are you just playing video games out in the rain? Rain muffles sound so I can play my guitar louder without my mom getting mad. Hm. I think I'm more afraid to be happy because whenever something good happens to me, I'm feeling bad. Something happens to others and it hurts me too. Don't be afraid of that just because of coincidences. I fell off my bike, but I'm not letting it ruin my day. I know that's like not emotionally bad, that's physically bad, that can lead to emotionally bad. But still, it's an example of, fuck that, I don't want to feel like Garbo. So I'm here, doing my happy streams, with you all, enjoying myself. Because I want to enjoy myself with you all. Because you all are awesome. So don't stop yourself just because you think it'll be, oh, something bad will happen after this. Then it will happen. But still. Focus on you, and you will be happier. Last four years were brutal. Almost everyone suffered, but things still got better. Exactly! Up late, huh? Here, I have a cold one. Lug. He poured us a bowl of beer. Ugh, life. You ever feel like no matter what you do, you're gonna fail? Like you're stuck in some miserable this and you're so deep you can't see, even see the light of day? I just feel like no matter how hard I try, I'm not strong enough to climb out of that hole. <laughs> eh, fast drinker, huh? Woman after my own heart. Just don't make it a habit. You got a future ahead of you still. Well, my liver's begging me to stop. Better call the night. See you around, Yangarang. So, one. one. Good. There we go. So, about the whole constantly going to fail thing, you're not going to fail every single time. And that inhibition that you're placing on yourself will constantly plague you if you let it. That's why you have to make sure that you always challenge yourself. Because once you overcome that challenge, you will not be as afraid. And every time, it gets easier. You just have to keep at it. Sure, something bad may have happened a couple of times, or a good chunk of the time, and that memory stuck with you. But I guarantee you there's other people that still memorized all these other events and everything that you did with them. And made them happy, and made them feel amazing. They're glad that you did. And you won't remember everything. But even just asking, hey, like, 
what do I do that's good? A lot of people will come up with a lot more than you will ever freaking expect. So don't be afraid to just ask. A lot of people will tell you that you're better than you think. Nine miles, we need more. Also, one of the biggest life lessons is the person from um, we can learn is to stop bearing fa fearing failure. While most of us grew up bad, we had conflict grilled into us that failure is bad, but the truth is that failure is how we learn. If we never fail, then we never learn and grow. Exactly! Being able to fail makes us all much better and smarter and able to do things that we learn from eventually. It's a good thing to fail properly where you can actually learn with it and fail quickly in learning things, but still. Gotta get your sheepin' on? Exactly! Also, hi, Gigi. Cute sheep. Beep, beep, cute sheep. Alright, give me... A... Exactly. So while I'm looking at drawing, and I'm sure I get frustrated because drawing can be bullshit at times, I'm not gonna be just like, ugh, I'm drawing bad. It's like, no, I'm just not drawing as much as I want to for how I want to set myself up. So that's why I learned how to do that. Because why not, right? I'm not doing anything wrong with that. I just want to be able to just do things and be happy with it. Which I can succeed with very nicely. Alright, let's go put the fruit in there so we can make some pickles. And some jam. Babushka's jam. There we are. Transform! Katsune Farm. Sure thing, I can do that. Alright. I still gotta set that up. Shit. Anyway. Uh, Katsune. Floof, floof, floof. I'll do that for, like, half an hour, maybe. We'll see. Anyway. Yes, the floof is here. I do move a lot, but hey. Floof, 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 floof. Uh, this will probably be, like, the second to last month of seeing this exact model of it. So, uh, be warned leg peek for free. I mean, do you want to see Succubus Burger soon? Mofu, 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 mofu. Okay, fun fact about that emote redeem, I cannot save it, redeem it, or change the price because mofu is a banned word on Twitch, so it's, this, it's just there forever for 500 box stamps. And I'm just like, how is that bad? Apparently it's like slang for motherfucker, but you can say motherfucker easily. So mofu, which I'm using in the meaning of fluff or fluffy, is just, yeah, Twitch is like, yeah, we can't do that. It's like, really? Are you just gonna ban a thing just because Kafa Gregus has the F word in it? Howdy Yang, how, is this a new model? No, it's not a new model, it's my oldest one actually. Yeah, this is the one Gigi rigged, who is a good sheep that I will actually shout out right here. So, see this beep sheep? She's good. She's cute. She's amazing. And we love her. We know that the sheep is good. She's a cute sheep. And she does good art. She's a good sheep and she loves bagels! And also war crimes. And tax evasion. It's new to you? Yeah! If you ever want to use Transform, you can see, like, other stuff. I'm trying to get the other models done. They'll likely be done next year. <laughs> because that's when I plan on having a lot more beefed up for freaking YouTube and Twitch to get more money with. Funny how that works out. Exactly. It's like all GZ modes are flaps. X instead of fluffins. Another Twitch moment. Seriously? <laughs> Which needs to stop being dumb for ten seconds, I swear. Uh, it's like, oh, this is a bad word because it contained in a uh, word, a bad word. And it's like, we never knew this was a bad word until you told us. What the fuck? And it's like, there's definitely words that no one should ever speak. But there's also just, really? You ban that just because it contains that? Like, if you spell Kofagrigus in Pokemon, in like some of the old games, you are not allowed to trade Kofagrigus. So you had to nickname it in order to trade it, which was stupid. Um, that's called Dogs, Fish Farmer, Summer Trap. There is Crafter, Forest Bum. Oh, wait, I 
Well, we're doing that shit tomorrow. Exactly. My theory with Gigi most of that changed an S to pick a number that looks like a uh, five. Mm. Hardwood fence, cheese press, quality sprinkler. Oh shit, level five mining. Um, what does mining do again? Uh, the French version of those same games also required a rename Seismitoad. Its French name is Crafthot. Let's steal it, really. All right, let's see. Geologist leads to excavator and gemologist. Uh, plus one ore per vein. Mm, I'm gonna actually go for excavator. So, geologist. Geology's not a real science, everyone. Remember that. I'm just kidding. It is. I love geology. I love just geology, meteorology, a lot of the world ologies, but physics and chemistry can just go shove itself up its ass. It's gonna be a sunny day for- oh shit, the luau is tomorrow. The spirits are very displeased. I was conducting a field study the other day and I found this specimen. Hope you find it as interesting as I did. Thank you, Demetrius. Tomorrow we're going to be gathering at the beach for the annual public in town luau. The highlight of the town event is a communal potluck. Make sure you bring something good to contribute. The governor himself is attending an event, so make sure that you're on your best behavior. Come to the beach sometime between 9 a.m. and 2 p.m. Gotcha! I'll, I'm, I'm gonna go to the beach in my skibbies. Uh, we don't need the knowledge shell for anything. Dumb question, how good is Gold Star Maya? Hold on, well... Stardew. All right, let's see. Mayo. Wait, gold mayo is actually one of the best results. Oh no. Please tell me you two made a really good egg today. Yes. Yes, all right. We're gonna add some mayo to the soup. I am not cute, Sinian. I'm trying to accept things better, but cute is still off the menu. I will drink the mayo when I feel good enough to drink the mayo. All right, sprinklers. How to make a quality sprinkler. I oh, I need gold for that, ugh. Well, you all are kind of staying there for a bit longer. I gotta wait to actually go see Clint, so I'm just kind of gonna grab some flowers and actually hand them out. Seeing some squash. I will take kind. I try to be kind as possible. Smeo, you gotta drink it. No. Meanwhile, you like astronomy and stuff? I like astronomy too. Astronomy is nifty. All right, time to do some experimentation. Who wants my squash? Who wants this weird wiener squash? All right. Dig through everyone's trash before it's too late. Guess what? What? All right, Lewis is still man. Anyways, we'll fish a bit. Yo, thanks! Thank you for that! I hope everyone enjoys their gifted sub! Jeez! Thank you! Oh! Thank you! I'll be able to pay my internet bill without worrying next month. Yay! <laughs> yes, thank you so much. Hope you all enjoy your subs, too. Penchan, Wolfman, Yumi, Sly, and one blue sheep. I know blue sheep. Blue sheep is nice. Okay, you fish. You're coming with me. Still. Ugh. Trying my best to accept things. Feels weird, but I'll take it. Thank you. It means a lot to me, seriously. I know I may not show a lot of emotion all the time, but I'm trying my best. Sensei is doing her best. 
I'm a good fox and I love bagels. <laughs> oh my gosh. I freaking love that so much. It's one of my favorite things of like the one Florida man who's like befriends the alligator and it's like, no, don't take him away. He's a good boy and he loves bagels. Oh. Uh, I feel like at some points people should not have things taken away. Like, there was that, but that was just silly. I should have got some bagels when I went to the store earlier. Bagels are good. Sorry for being a downer earlier. I'm just kind of blah right now. I know what you're doing. You are doing fine. I will always say this. You are completely and utterly fine with what you are doing. No one is in this big race to be the best, except if you put it on yourself. Take a break so that you can feel good. I'm going to look for bugs, but mom gets mad when I'm all dirty. Tough choice. Flower. There you are. Yeah, seriously, do not put your self-worth in the hands of others. Accept compliments and everything, but do not have people constantly say that you're trash when you're not trash. Give me my watering can. Thank you. You want a wiener squash? He likes the He likes the fun gift of the wiener squash. Okay. Enjoy! Trying to get the child from school and I still have the stream going. Okay, no problem. Have a flower. Hi. Hello. You want a wiener squash too? Hooray, people like the wiener squash. The moonlight jellies will be here soon. That is one of my favorite events. There's just nothing really bad happening with it. There's no rush to get every prize. It's just there. I didn't like it. Everyone's excited for the luau tomorrow. Maybe I'm a little nervous too, considering the governor will be here. Yeah. Hey, Farm Roy, I got a question for you. Do you think I'll ever be a pro? Yeah. You gotta practice, but I feel like conflating people's egos a bit right now. Hello, have a, a squash. Very wonderful. Thank you. Then mayor put me in charge of the town's public gardens. Mm. May I talk to Lewis? Oh, not Lewis. Uh, George. Oh, I told you that already. Ah, uh, speak up. Yeah. Kind of sad. I really wish I could get them, like, a TV stand or something. Ugh. But yes, thank you again, and I hope you have a wonderful time picking them up. Mm. I still have that weird mucusy thing, but oh well. Hmm. Oh, Saturday I might be trying Poke Rogue just because I kind of want to just test it out. So I'm going to tell some friends so that they can actually be here. Because I know they want to actually see me do Poke Rogue. But still, it's like it's one of those things I just kind of want to see it. Seeing sounds fun. I just realized that I need to actually get more copper again. Son of a gun. Alright. We do have a little bit more stuff now that we actually have the freaking upgraded watering can. It's not going to be great. Alrighty. Oh, it's so much nicer to have one, though. All headphones need charging, so I must leave for now. See you later, Yang. Have fun. I will. Thank you so much for stopping by, Ark. Unless you want to have the neighbors hear me moan and everything. <laughs> I don't know why. Don't ask. That was just, like, the first thing that just popped into my head. Like, how do I fluster the dog? <laughs> I'm sorry. Just turn up the volume all the way to max and you just hear me scream into the mic. Mayo. Jelly. I need one mayo for tomorrow. Oh, wait! wait. Actually, I'm not allowed in any church, so they can hear the express version of me. Hey! Hmm. <laughs> oh, that's 
great. Oh my gosh, I could be a national fucking treasure. I'm getting the prey away, everyone. I'm sorry. Okay, bye for now. Goodbye, Ark. That dog is cute. I can't wait to just throw him into Cerberus form and just be like, hello there. <laughs> All right, time for some more jam. The bark. Uh, it's just kind of silly just to think of like, hmm, I could destroy someone in the most fun way possible, but I'm not going to do that. Oh shit, I gotta, I gotta water the cat. Alright, put that away. Put all that shit in there. Alright, we're good, except for the fact that I need to put the garbage away. I should be going to things so that I don't forget, but I'm going to forget anyway, so I'm just gonna go to the community center than the mines, maybe. <sighs> I can't at least go to the museum. Something about church? Uh, Ark works there, and I cannot go to inside of basically any church around here for what I have done. Oh, the crazy heresy. Mm. I made all of them very upset. Just for speaking my mind. Also because of other reasons, you know, Annie. Won't ask because you're, that's your private life. I mean, okay. One reason is private, 100%, except for Annie and I, and maybe a few others. But some of them, it's just more funny. Yeah, Annie knows the one reason. The other reason is just that I'm not stupid, like some others that just blindly do things. Meanwhile, me... Freaking in like sixth and seventh grade, constantly being dragged to church by some neighbors. And it's just like, okay, but why the fuck are you doing this? And it's like, we didn't have a whole bunch of stuff at the time, so it's like, oh, right, free breakfast, I'll take it. And I'm just like, okay, so I'll just like go with some people I know and just be like, okay. And it's like, meanwhile, me, it's like, I told them, it's like, I'm not gonna sing, I'm not gonna like kneel and pray, I'm just gonna be there. Is that okay? And it's like, yeah, sure, whatever. They got grumpy because of all that, and it's like, you're making us look bad. It's like, what do you mean I'm making you look bad? And me figuring out that all they were doing there is to save face, I basically literally said, so this is just a freaking gossip center for old ladies and everything just so you make it look good, even though you're not a good person. And a lot of people went fucking ballistic on me. And I'm just looking at them basically doing the, What do you mean? Why are you booing me? I'm right. And it's like, the only thing is that one of the deacons was kind of just chill with me. It's like, he's like, yeah, a lot of old ladies that come here aren't really good. And they're trying to save themselves. It's like, you're, you're fine. But meanwhile, it's like, everyone else is just like, we don't want to see her anymore. And it's like, okay. Bye, I didn't even want to be here in the first place. All I came was to get some freaking breakfast. Hello. And it's just like, if you're going to have a freaking club for random gossip, don't have it at a place where you're not meant to do that. Are you doing the season? It's been so warm this year. Yeah, it's just... Ugh. Church is old lady high school. A lot of them. Because a lot of them don't understand to keep their fucking mouth shut and actually visit other people's houses instead of going into this big house full of benches and everything and just being a dick. It's literally just that. They're just being terrible to random people for no reason other than they just want to. And it's like so many times after I'm working at a restaurant around here, they come in and be assholes. Yeah, and it's like, that's not the only reason why I don't go into churches, but it's like, it's one of the main ones. Because a lot of the time, I just feel uncomfortable with gossip. If people want to figure out why something is going on, sure, but it's like, I don't have any juicy gossip to share. And I'm like, here's the thing. 
Shinto is all about respecting a lot of other things and making sure that you don't fuck around with nature too much and actually be like enjoy spirits and everything and you can make yourself stay pure and not be accepted by corruption and everything. And it's like, okay, cool. Meanwhile, it's like watching all this stuff, it's like, okay, you leave this water out and everyone dips their hands and that's a little unsanitary. And it's like the acceptance of donations, it's like, okay. But it's like, some things are just like, so what do they do with these donations for some of them? Because a lot of times, like, for shrines and everything, it's like, oh, maintenance and whatever. Make sure that we can still have the festivals and everything. It's like, okay, cool. But it's like, no. No, no, no. And it's like seeing a lot of people that really shouldn't be there go there. And it's like, mm hmm. Yeah, that too. It's like... Okay, so here's a funny thing I found out about holy water. You can literally save a Pope's holy water, and there's a specific fucking equation to dilute it enough to still be able to give it to people. Can you imagine having, like, a collection of various Pope's holy waters? And just be like, yeah, I, I have some good old Pope Francis water from, like, vintage 2018. And it's like, what the fuck? Like, it... It doesn't have any other thing. It's just there. It's like, yeah, there. It's like, okay, but why do you do this? I think the ratio is like 60 to 40% water. And then it just quote unquote turns the rest of it into holy water. And it's like, how does it turn the rest of it into holy water when someone doesn't even bless it? And it's like, I'm just reading all this stuff. It's like, are, are these people just trying to make money nonstop? If so, I'm concerned. It's like, what the fuck? A lot of things are just, ugh. But yeah, that's why I'm not allowed in churches. At least around here. I could probably go to some random ones and just be like, hey. But I really don't want to. It makes me feel sick. Ugh. Bong! Barrels. Nah, no, just hardwood. Yeah. Just the sheer idea of it. I just realized selling the vintage Pope water is just the gamer girl bath water fiasco. Thanks. I hate it even more. Imagine being single and someone said you will meet someone at work. Most people in my workplace are guys and twice my age. I mean, honestly, they could be like one of the people coming to your stand, but still. I'm sorry, I'm just thinking of Pope Francis selling his feet picks for money. Oh my gosh. Hello, Linus. Very few people have gone as deep in the mines as you have. Thank you. Hmm. Hmm. Yep! Hi! Hello, hello, hello! We're talking about Pope Gamer Girl Bathwater. <laughs> they were doing Ocarina of Time. Now, were you doing the 3DS version or the normal version? That will change based on, that will change my reaction on it. I'm sorry. I know, we're talking about the Gamer Girl Bathwater of Popes. Oh, you don't know that! Okay, so someone was trying to literally sell their bath water and their fans were drinking it, so they were getting sick. And we were talking about how there's, like, this special equation for, like, holy water to be ratioed off. And that they said that you can just wait and it'll just make more holy water somehow. And it's like, how the fuck does that work? So I'm just sitting here just explaining how they were, like, going about all that. And it's like, okay, that's creepy. But it gets worse because, of, like, some people have, like, a collection of, like, Pope water that they just have in, like, a fucking jug in the middle of their house and everything. And it's like, hey, do you want some Pope water? But still. I'm gonna be real, her business is sense on point. I mean, still. It's like, that made a lot of people sick and she got sued. Jam. For real, yeah. A lot of people want, like, reimbursements for their hospital bills and everything. <laughs> <sighs> More sun. 
And you. Starting tomorrow, an unusual amount of shells and corals are expected to wash up on beaches all around the world. I'm no scientist, but I've heard it's something to do with crab mating season. At any rate, you should get some coin combing your local beach. Mmm. Right, that's the summer event. I just realized I never got to go get the extra copper. I just dug deeper in the mines. Fuck! I was playing the original Ocarina of Time. Okay. I, I like the 3DS's new graphics, but it removes some of the charm. Meanwhile, I cannot wait for next month because the Thousand Year Door hits. And I'm just, like, slowly rubbing my hands together going, Mmm, yes, nostalgia. And I'm just like, I can't wait to just stream that non-stop because I got a capture card. And I am very much willing to just go crazy for a thousand year door. Hmm, thousand year door, you shall spoil us. Oops, did not mean to do that. We still don't have enough water to water everything, but we can at least get better soon. Your call out of work is high. Lucky, do you feel good enough to go to work? Hmm. Chicken! Uh, I am doing the new farm. The... Yeah, the freaking... What is it called? The meadow farm, I believe? The one that lets you start with the chickens. I'm just enjoying myself. Oh, right, I forgot you can hop around and everything now. Probably because of dish day. I mean, lucky, it's a mix of stress and everything else. You don't want to do that. Thanks for the head pass, Gigi. I will switch back at five-ish. The Lua has begun. Oh no, I got- I still gotta get the chickens! Mentally unsure. Then call out. Because being mentally unwell is not good either. Because if you mentally cannot do your job, then you cannot do your job. Ooh, an iridium quality egg. Will this make iridium freaking mayo? Hmm. Here's the thing, you need money? Yes, but your sanity is worth a lot more too. Right, gotta water the cat. Exactly. Heck, say that you can take another day if you want to. To say that something came up and something's not going well, and that you'll take another day if you need to. A lot of people are understanding. Exactly! Do not hurt yourself for a job that does not give a fuck about you. No job is worth more than your sanity. Look, your parents would understand. They 100% would understand. There is no way that they won't. Because do you understand why? Because they actually care about you. Hello. Into the luau. Look sharp, the governor's here for the annual visit. If you something for the potluck, make sure you add it to the soup cauldron. Mm. What a lovely occasion. It's always a job, a joy to visit Stardew Valley. A job. I will speak to the missus about purchasing a vacation over here. Hmm. She's unresponsive. That music's too loud. Can I have a little peace and quiet to enjoy the ocean? Ah, oh, the smell of the ocean takes me back many years, long before you were born. How long does it take to get to the ocean? This isn't a good dancer. I'm bored. I oh, still my foot, dear. It's tired. I'm sorry. Are you ready to visit the buffet soon? Ugh. I would dance, but I don't want to get sweaty. 
Back weather for a beach party, huh? Mm. When your Sam put a pound of anchovies in potluck soup. I wonder why Sam leaves the town in community service hours. Sam sounds good. Oh, you don't get hot pepper chutney like this in the big city. Mmm. These blasted sandflies keep on landing on the food. If you brought something for the soup, climb the stairs in the bottom and then throw it in. I will. Free buffet. One of the perks of living here. Enjoy it, kid. Sure. Can't you actually, like, grab food from here? No. Here's the thing. If I call out, there's no one to cover me, so I'd be leaving someone out to dry. I may not be friends with them, but I don't want to kill them with work. I know, but also, it's not good if you just go crazy for it. Seriously. I put fresh vegetables from my garden to the meal soup pot. Mmm. Maybe if I go on with good nurse good side, he'll give my best friend a tack break. Nobody likes aged whiskey. Mmm. Jungle decal star food. Mmm. Nothing I really want. Flame torch, actually, maybe. I'll buy one. Actually, I'll buy two, just because I can. I woke up late, slipped out in the front door, and found myself in the middle of all this hubbub. How's the farming coming? Must be a busy season for you. Yeah. That too, it's also on the company for sure. I'll be back here by the tree. The air's a lot cooler. I really wish you had lines or stuff that we could do with you. I wonder who cares. Why should I care about some random old guy? We do this festival every year to give the governor a taste of everything the guy has to offer. Mayor Lewis hopes it will get so the governor on the good side. That's why he's so neurotic about the way the soup tastes. A slow, continuous rotation is key to achieving a perfect roast. I love the idea that Linus just brings this fucking giant chunk of meat in. Uh, Space Uko, thank you for following Welcome to Akitoi Academy. Hope you have a lovely time while you're here. If I get a better position today, it might be worth it. You could always really say you're having an off day and you need something else to work on. Whatever Linus is worth, it smells awfully good. Hmm. Good thing I came with sunscreen. I wonder if Maru could use some sunscreen on her shoulders. That's a bit interesting to say. I'm full. What else is there to do besides eat? Go get some soup? I hope the soup is good this year. Ooh. Oh no, I added a giant glug of mayonnaise, so we should be good. We have not talked with everyone just yet. Time to socialize with everyone. Probably want to see. And where is Willy? Wizard Willy. Mayo Icky. Yeah. Hey there, Yang Rain. Taking a breather? Tell you the truth, I'd rather be fishing right now. I, why not? Same Abigail. Yeah. See, I don't like beaches. I like the middle of the woods and everything. It's just nice and fun. The mer people are curious about your festivities. They become upset when you litter into the ocean. Well, that's why I don't litter into the ocean. Hate sand. Yeah, sand just kind of gross. All right, let's go. Yes, let's start. Hope you like mayonnaise. Well, folks, time once again for the potluck ceremony. I trust that you all got the high quality ingredients in the pot this year. We don't want the governor to regret his visit to the valley. Well, governor, would you do the honor of tasting the soup? Of course, I've been looking forward to this all year. This random pot of mayonnaise and vegetables and water. Mm. Ooh. Unforgettable soup! That's the best soup I've ever tasted! Golden mayo! Soup. You're right, it's delicious! Wonderful job, everyone. Now who would like a taste? Soup. The governor wasn't kidding. The soup was out of this world. And we made friends with everyone. Time to head home. We're gonna get a lot of mail tomorrow. Because, oh boy, we made friends with everyone. All right, torches. Our golden mayo is good. Hail hydrate. I hate mayo, yeah, but apparently the golden mayo is now good for the governor, so hey. Torch. Torch. 
Ooh. That really brings the place together. Moss. That's apparently the new way to do it, yes. Hmm. Get a snail and a periwinkle in there, and then sell our award-winning mayonnaise. Did you know it was an amazing thing to add acid, or was it just pure luck? I mean... I looked it up to see what I had on hand. I was like, how good is mayonnaise in there? And apparently mayo is the best response now. And it's like, okay. Because I would usually go with, like, jam or pickles or wine. And it's like, hey, the bookseller is in town. Oh, shit, the bookseller. Storm again. The bookseller is in town, everyone. And our hops and tomatoes are ready. And our peppers. Remember to eat healthy or you won't be having enough of energy to work hard. Including one of my favorite recipes, make sure to use ripe tomatoes. This recipe of mine won first place in cooking competitions. I hope you'd like it. Thanks for being a friend. Calamari. Mm. Mayo for soup, though? That really doesn't work. Apparently it does! We have hops now. Delicious. All right, we have one of the best just plain food items we can grow in the game. Ah, uh, much better. <laughs> Mayo can be used in cooking sometimes. Yes, it can be. But not in that kind of cooking because it would just be chunky and gross. Look, as much as Boris will tell you, do not use mayo when cooking soup. Mm-hmm. Mayo's black. Yeah, American mayo is disgusting. No one should like American mayo. I'm sorry, but also not sorry at the same time. Holly mascot phone What was that about Boris? There's this guy that is on YouTube that goes by the channel name of Life of Boris. And he does all this wacky shit from cooking and everything. But it's actually good cooking advice. Like, seriously good. But still. You refuse to designate or oh, dignify a miracle whip as a form of mayo. It's egg whip. That's the best way to call it. Mm. Yeah, mayo in general is just disgusting. Meat and meat. You might get a friend soon. Two more of really quality eggs. I think I'm just gonna sell them. See how much they actually sell for. Yeah, it's basically just a sandwich topping, but if you need to use it for potato salad, find something else or else I will hurt you. I, that's the thing, it's like, I hate potatoes with eggs. There's no way around it. I don't like cold food, it does not sit well with me. It's something wrong in general. Something's eerie around here. Something's back here. Oh, my arm. Oh, 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 oh. Okay, that's better. I need to go see the bookseller. Bookseller, I require your strongest literature. Yeah, no. I don't like it either. Oh, this event. I'm gonna reset letter in the back. Ugh. And Gus is just standing there. Like, fry up and eggs and toss on hash browns. That I may try. Here, let me help you, Mr. Mulner. And the one thing you don't do is push. There you go. Hm, I could have done it myself, and I can certainly move around on my own. 
How feeble do you think I am? I'm here from behind the magical bar. Were you watching us? You did a kind there, Penny. You did a kind thing there. I just wish George wasn't so upset. I was only trying to help. Mm -hmm. Growing old is terrifying. But it's part of life. No, no, I'm sorry. I shouldn't have gotten so angry. It was actually very kind of you to help me out. But yeah, ask next time if they need help. That's okay, Mr. Mulder. I understand. Always ask. Gonna make some and uh, smack some enemies with books? Maybe. Must be difficult to grow old. Uh, we just have a different part of life with it. We shouldn't ignore the reality of aging. I guess the sooner we come to terms with our mortality, the more time we can spend really living in the here and now. Not the advice I was giving, but okay. Well, it was interesting talking to you, Yangarang. I should go. So yeah, do always ask. It's like, there's no harm in asking. The worst people could say is no. And even if they say something worse, just look at them blankly and question their motives. Trout Derby, right. Green Algae to your evening book club for Linus. Excuse me? One, Linus has a book club? Two, why do you need Green Algae for it? Whenever you ask people, ignore me. Make sure to reiterate because they might not have heard you. All right, bookseller, what you got? Buy books. Mining monthly to gain some experience in mining. Nah. Price catalog. Mmm. Stars with the wind. You run a little bit faster. That'd be so fucking good. Horse! The book! All slow the legs. You're gonna run through a lot through crops and grass. No, I'll buy the price catalog. You learned a new power. Ooh. Oh, we can actually see how much they sell for here, too. Mm. So we now have the price catalog, Monster Compendium, and Jack B. Nibble, Jack B. Thick. Will they make it horse the movie? Hmm. So with wallpaper, you know I'm there, you can just don't talk to it. Mm -hmm. Jack be thick. How many C's needed for that book title? All of them? Mm. Alright, we need to get some green algae. We also need to make a lot more money. Who warms? So I need to go to the mine and grab all of my copper. Oh, mystery box. All right, we'll save that for later. Mm, yes, yeah, so I'll go there first before going to the mines. You're at least solitaire minesweeper. Fucking Annie, you're a goober, but you're my goober. Fucking amazing. What was I doing? Um, fuck. I was going to do something. Some golden. Meant that in a good way? Please don't take it the wrong way. And you're so adorable. Oh, food, right. I was gonna get food. I know I don't have any mail. I want some of my snacks. Give me my snacks. I am not adorable. I will fight you on it. I am not adorable. Mm -hmm. mm. Mm, where is it? There it is. Iron and gold. No. I can make some right now. What am I thinking? Sensei, you, you filed tax today. It was stressful. Good job, though. Very good job. I made a short about taxes. <laughs> oh my gosh. 
Uh, she's in Canada. Also extensions. Wonder if it's anyone's birthday today. Nah. It's balloon day. Eepy. Something's just very chill about this game. What do you want? Got more important things to do with it right now. Well, fuck you too! Yep. I'm still angry that we have to do taxes. The IRS already knows our stuff. Why must they torture us so? Okay. More fertilizer. Okay. Thank you for your money. Technically, you don't have to file if you're clearly entitled to a refund, but the only ones you're cheating is yourself. Yeah! That way, if you owe money, you actually have to do it. But if you are owed money, then they'll be like, Oh, well, someone didn't do their taxes here. We'll just keep that. Oh, thank you. I'm just glad I got so much this year. It helps so much. Oh, mm. Ooh, that one has moss. Oh, those have moss on it. Hello, trees. You have moss for me? Hmm, moss. Give me your moss so I can eat it. Moss, moss, the tasty treat. Mm, 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 mm. I spent it on a lot. I have a good GPU. I have all these good things now, and I'm just like, yay. I have actually finished doing a room. I have all the shelving necessary for this one now. And it feels really good to actually just look back and be like, I have shelves for my books and my knickknacks and everything else. I just want to finish the other room and get some other small things and we're good. Also, I'm going to switch back to the sick. Mm-hmm. I'm just mad because the washer's broken downstairs in the basement. Because seriously, it's it's rather rather annoying. Yeah, I've not been on the floor since like August. We're good. That sounds so cursing suck in southern accent. You mean suck? I'm just a sucky bitch doing my business. <laughs> I hate it. I hate it so much. Why the fuck did I say that? Give me your summer squash seeds. Big ol' suck. You're making sure to get utilities, yeah. Please don't have to try my tent. Wait, right! I remember now! I gotta go get this guy some green algae for his book club, apparently. Don't encourage them. Encourage me! Yeah, for some odd reason, Linus is a fucking book club? I'm just sitting here like, how? Why? What? Linus is one of the best characters. He's a good boy. And he probably likes bagels. Alright, let's put some stuff away first. Yeah, I am part horny. That's, that's a good way to describe it. I am not fully the horns. I am not going to be like, oh, I'm such a horny person all the time. It's like, I, I do not like that. You don't have to be that just to be kinky. It's like, you can be lewd. You just don't have it as your only personality trait because it's gross. Horny, sad, and stressed. I mean, that was me a while ago, but it's all fixed now for the most part. I just have stress. And I replace a lot of that sadness with anger. Alright, I'm gonna need more gold. Ah, jeez. It's like, it's that kind of feeling where it feels broken, but it's not broken. I don't know what the fuck I did, but still. Here we go for your book club. So you saw the bulletin I posted? It looks perfect. What kind of book club do you have, Linus? Explain! A hug and genuine compliment will keep me going for the next two or three years. Yes. Linus, the thing about stress is that certain kinds of stress, the right amount is good. Meanwhile, me, I can't do my dishes because I've got a bandage on my hand, but I really want to fucking do the dishes. 
I really want to do the laundry, but the washer's broken. If you and Mario become friends, I'm sure she'll show you how to use that telescope out back. Pretty exciting, huh? I guess. We're pretty insulated from the rest of the world here in Stardew Valley. Yeah, that's the pros, con pros and cons. You know what would be a really fun item? Just a radio. Just like viewing people's like radio station. <laughs> Fuck, that's good. Yay! Do the wave. I actually don't think I have the wave as like a follower emote. T. Is that a plum sapling? Hmm. Okay. Very special gift that would delight anyone. Hmm. Radio mentioned. Yes. Hello, Pierre. Are you satisfied with the quality of my summer seeds? You know, I want to see how much of a jump it is by giving it to Gus. Gus is at two right now. I did not mean to do that! Well, Pam got the gift. Shit. Pam went up. Okay, so she went up one heart. Whatever. Fuck you, Pam. Here. <laughs> Enjoy my acorn scavenging. <laughs> I've done that so many times. Yeah, I wanted to give it to Gus, and I was like right-clicking to see if I could drink it myself just to be a dick, but still. Three no oddity plays. Mark's third colliery plays. This acknowledges brain rot is real. I want to play some Voice of the Void this summer. Just because I actually fucking can. I'm going to kidnap the Tanuki to be my co-pilot at the middle of Switzerland. Just... Since you're going for, like, a summer vacation in the middle of Switzerland, I'm just imagining that she's like, Alright, so it has to be just you. Alright, it's just gonna be me. Meanwhile, my suitcase just, like, ruffles. Uh... Kidnap Tanuk. Pet Tanuk. Spoiled to nuke. Smush to nuke. Destroy to nuke. What's up, dude? You may be able to cast magic, but I have a bug. The Kirkus is coming. Just the sheer fact that Kerfus exists. It's like, oh, that's a cute little cat robot. Wait a moment, this collects semen. <laughs> Especially, you could say that with his new forms. Fucking Kerfus, why would you do that? They massacred my boy. No, I forgot to watch it. Fuck! Dang it! You'll deem it, um, it's me, okay. Uh, Kerfus is a cute little cat robot. In Poland, it is used for serving, like, snacks and free samples in a grocery store, like, giving out food in a restaurant or, like, delivering it. It's cute, you can pat the cat, but if you pat it too much, they get grumpy. But in... Other countries, they remodeled it to be used in sperm banks. Which I just realized could be named Spanx. Alright. Yes. Become die. There we go. And drink, uh, drink, eat some granola bar. Wait a minute, well, your body is full of money? What? Yeah, I'm very good collector. Why the fuck would you call it that? Oh my gosh. But yeah, it's just like, you can use that in so many ways, but there is like a thing you can do with crafting in that game. It's like, oh, you can make like all these parts and everything and like use them in random ways and find like recipes or just like make things yourself at random. Um, if you take apart like three other Kerfus machines, 
and like put them all together, you can make like the Kerfus Omega, which is just a humanoid version of Kerfus. Which it's sassy. And it literally default dances to fix certain things. I know I hate it as much as you all, but still. Tea of the day! I've got some green tea right next to me, actually. I've been taking a sip every so often. What is going on anymore? I'm talking about Voices of the Void. Solid. Oh my gosh. Pat, can you get, like, a picture from the wiki of the freaking femboy carcass? Yum? What do you mean, yum? It's also fucking jump kicks to fix transformers. Yeah. Like the electric transformers. That boy No. It's terrible. It's very terrible. Please? Okay, Tech, can you grab them a picture of it? I know, but still! You bringing attention to it is interesting. Oh, hello. Alright, I gotta kill and mirror and hopefully we get to the next stage real quick. Okay, just drop all the ingots for me. Um, I don't need the fiber, I don't need the acorn. Oh, jeez. Nope, you need to die, you need to die, you need to die. Yep, down we go. I'm... That's just a slightly faster version of the insect head, okay. Sure, sure I'll take this, even though I could have easily gotten it from skeletons. It's actually adorable. Hold on, let me just double check. Yeah, that. Yon, please, no, don't, don't look on the right. <laughs> People are crazy, Yon, it's the internet. Okay, here's the thing. It's kind of an adorable little robot thing. And I love the idea that Dr. Kell, this very lonely guy in the middle of Switzerland, on like day 30, makes a freaking femboy robot to work for him. It's a tenor link, it's safe, yeah. But still, Mion's is, Mion's is goofy. It's the internet, don't go on the subreddit. That's a bad idea, you know it! <laughs> <laughs> Hold on. Okay, okay, hold on. I just gotta make sure. Hold on, give me a moment. Hold on. <laughs> okay, like, I'm just imagining someone, like, the scientist just watching Dr. Kell making the Kerfus Omega, and just, like, out of nowhere, it's just like, oh, He's pulling his cock out! <laughs> just, like, out of nowhere, <laughs> just the scientist watching him, and it's just like, they have to watch that just so he doesn't break the very expensive equipment that he's working with. <laughs> And it's just terrible of me, but I know it would happen. I I, I know it would. I'm a person. I, I fucking know. What do you mean so much hate? Don't boo me, I'm right! I can at least make one proper sprinkler. Uh, let's actually make some quartz for the morning. Uh, you. Alright. Let's see. Um, one of you. And, boop. You're coming with me. 
I know we can at least put you here, and then we'll be good. There we go. Oh, it's shaking your head. <clears throat> Look, it's either so much hay or shaking my head. Um, did... Okay, here's the thing. Did combat actually get better in Stardew's update? I forget. Combat. Uh... Brrr. Um... No. Literally never seen anyone use it so, with so much hate, so... Mmm. I have. Any food because there's no urge to eat and the last thing I ate ooh, felt like a char? No. Yeah, that's what I was saying. He default dances as well, downloading data tech. Yeah, send me the thing. <clears throat> Spirits are neutral. Yay. Melons. They're ready. As well as the summer squash. Can I sell some of the summer squash? I just sell gold. I actually only sell gold. Because melons are good money. And you. There we are. And then you, and you. Okay. That's much better. Now, this entire top row is going to be full of really good things. Oh, shit, not yet. Um, hmm. How many more do I need? I need... There we go. Alright. And then we can plant... I guess you here. Oh wait, that doesn't work. Meh! We'll just kind of keep you there for now. You yeah, big blub during the summer and get hella uh, money. Mm. Blueberries are good and all, but it's like, I want to get other money. I forget, did I plant blueberries down there or what? Because it's like, I think those are blueberries, but I don't know if those are blueberries. Let's tell. Chicken! Thank you for your iridium eggs. Mayo. The wiener squashes. And I'll keep some of these melons in here. Alright. And my hops, because we're gonna soon make beer. See, I don't really like beer much, but the one time I actually tried like a free sample in the grocery store was pretty nifty. Mm, excuse me. I can't get a video of someone giving Kerfus the radio with caramel dance. Oh my gosh. Sell the wiener squash. Well, bears have a huge range. Yeah. It was like a freaking Danish ale, which was very nifty. Ooh, much moss. I mean, you gotta check through the logs, Tack. Gotta check through the logs. Been loving this tea. Tea. Hmm. Black teas. Cardamom tea. Cardamom tea is pretty good. Also, uh... Gamers Outreach just gave me a link to the summer program for June. Very nice. Oh, it's Alex's birthday. whoop de doo Alex wants a sunfish for his birthday. Oh, no. Fine, I'll give him something for his birthday. Critical. Everyone give me the green algae. Okay, that just makes me sad. It makes me think that people are getting their green algae for Linus's book club and they're just throwing it away afterwards. Oh. 
I want you to take a deep breath for me. Hmm, turn around, please. George, I'll be honest with you. You need to make some lifestyle changes if you want to stay healthy. I'd like you to reduce your sodium intake and try to get some moderate exercise with your arms. I know what's best for me. What do you think you are, telling me how to live my life? I'm your doctor, George. That's who I am. I went to school for eight years so I could learn how to keep people healthy. Mm-hmm. Oh! I'm sorry, but you shouldn't be here. These checkups are supposed to be private. Okay, I'm going. Not so fast. I'd like to get a second opinion from this young lady. Very well. What do you think George should do? Follow his advice. He's a doctor for a reason. Thank you. You see, George, I'm just trying to help you. Fine, I'll do what you say, Doctor. Like, even just, like, a little less salt is good. Thanks for your help, Yanger, and I appreciate it. Hey, right, here you go. Very nice. No, it's not good for sports. I mean, it's it's raining, this. I'm not gonna get sunburnt easily in the rain. It's awful cold, and it's never a rotten day. Hmm. I guess... He likes that. <laughs> I don't know why he likes the porn book, but okay. Okay, we're just getting all the events. That's a good boy, Dusty. I'm gonna come out from behind the bar, even though I was not. I'm the only one who understands me. No one else has seen the kind of stuff you and I have. You seem like creepy vibes from the book. From the look, maybe. Although I'm here. Do you hear me talking? Yeah, I don't know how you got out here, too. Heard everything. I don't really like to talk about it, but I guess I'll explain. Have you ever wondered why I live with my grandparents? You see, father wasn't a good guy. He, well, he ruined everything for me and my mom. At the time he was gone, the other half he'd drink all night and tell me I'm worthless. I never amount to anything. I think he resented me for being young. Better because he wasted the youth doing nothing and gotten nowhere in life. Well, that's my take on it, anyway. Who knows what was going on in his mind. One day he left, and soon after that, Mom got sick and passed away. Had no choice but to move in with my grandparents. Everyone's dealing with the big trauma. You seem like someone I can trust. That's what I'm telling you, gang Ring. I don't want any sympathy. There's one good thing about my past that made me strong. Nah, yeah, about that. I'll show you what Bar or Dusty will do for a barbecue steak. Doggo. Meat lump. Look at him slobbering. I think he likes steak as much as I do. I really want to give Dusty a big old dog house. And at least give him something nice to be in. I'll, like, show him on walks and everything. He's a good boy and deserves bagels. But yeah, Harvey is... Harvey is like Luigi, but older. Definitely a very Luigi kind of person. Also, how did the dog get out? I think there's meant to be like a gate somewhere, but they don't have the gate for some reason. Ooh, Tiger's Eye. Love Tiger's Eye. Barret. Copper. Stone. Ooh. Neptunite. Okay. Most of these are getting donated. How dare you stop me from digging into the trash? I'm gonna go inside. I just wanna wait a moment. He do sick jumps for that. <laughs> I'm just imagining the dog like rip the dog like ripping out a skateboard. It's like I'll do sick jumps for that steak. You don't understand me. Pumpkin seeds! Very handy for autumn coming up. I really want to grow things again. Fuck! I should just eat more pumpkin this year. That's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna find out ways to eat it because I know stuffed pumpkin sounds really tasty and everything. It's like, ugh. Alright. I, I grow very good melons, but it's like, here's the thing. I want to grow pumpkins because pumpkins grow nice in backyards. 
Wait, IRL or in game? IRL. Like I, I love gardening. It's in my blood. Take me down to Goth Girl City. Remote. Take me down to Halloween City, where the girls are shopping at pumpkin-sized titties. <laughs> All right, quality sprinkler. I'll take it. That way, I don't need to go get more. Ugh. Wait a moment, I can take out that big old log that's stopping me from progressing on the other side of the farm and get more space. Yes! Mm. Oh, salad. I actually get a good recipe for pumpkin. See, I like the Jack B. Little pumpkins because those ones I really want to like, make into pumpkin and like suck pumpkins and everything like that. I will have to check out that link later. Let me just look at it, at it real quick. Wait! Hold on a moment! <gasps> Lucky! We did it! We found Carl! <laughs> Raised pumpkin stew. That sounds bad. For Carl! Uh, Deep Rock Galactus has this, like, sort of invisible character named Carl. And they're like, we need to find Carl for, like, a lot of the random things. Just because of, like, kind of, like, this whole issue of, like, losing a dwarf on the alien planet and everything. Of oh, the alien planet, the alien meteor. And it's just, like, it's kind of adorable, but kind of sad at the same time. And she's like, oh, they missed their friend. But also, it's just, like, they're kind of crazy. Rock and stone. Rock and stone, Carl. Rock and stone. Well, yeah, it's just it's just kind of me faffing about. Sorry. Let's take some cranberry sauce. Also, convincing Autumn to play more deep rock with me doesn't want to so much hate. Oh, I shake my head. No, oh. deep rock galactic is fun. I want to do more of that. Might do more of it on Saturday. Who knows? It's very fun, yes. Sorry, I'm just feeling around my arm. One day I'll get you on the ship. What ship? There's so many fucking boats, Tech. Alright. The trick is to go deep and quick. A fool's maybe soon. Wait, Annie, are you streaming tonight? I don't want to do dishes. But I gotta cook later. Ooh, infested. That's good. Gooey room. Slimes. Fully the slime. Bully slimes. Attract all the slimes in one fell swoop. Alright, alright, you. Flee! That, and then you. You need to give me the second one. Heal the slimes! I really should have brought more food other than just some cranberry sauce. I think we doing better with the change how to bring all the slimes to your yard. Look, you just gotta have some round things in your chest. They'll think that they're in there. I already had a huge lunch, so it's like, I'm kind of not going to eat a big thing. You just eat the cup of cranberry sauce was in? Yes, it was crunchy. Very delicious. Oh, they have a decorative bowl to go with it. It's made of wood. Alright, slimies. Slimey. 
Get off me. There we go. And also, it's free real estate. Wait. you. Down we go. The combat floors are nice because you can just dig through with these. Can I make a bomb? No. I also drink my own real life, but it's probably not recommended. Yeah. That's why I think it's just the meme in the community. It's just like, we should drink mayo. And like, Sir Dave is like, why would you want to drink mayo? And everyone's just like, mayo. And it's like, fine. Arm is still sore. Not as bad as the other day. Just, yeah. Ark! You're back! Does that mean that you're off work or is that everyone can still hear you? Because it all depends on what I'm going to do next. You okay, Lunky? Lucky, I'm going to be honest with you, you need time off. And that's not just me, like, saying, oh, take a break. No, you need time off more than anything. You are not healthy right now. You need time off. This is a bad sign on your end. If something's going to give and you're not going to like when it does because it's either you rest or your body will make time for rest and you don't want it to make time for rest. Because when your body makes time for rest, you will be upset. I'm getting kind of hurt. You have a terrible idea? What is it? I'm always down for terrible ideas. Bonnie doesn't give a fuck. Alrighty. Give me all the mixed seeds and all the garbage. This is some good quality garbage. Stop it. Slimes are easy when you can stun lock them, but they're... Hello, purple mushroom. You are tasty and delicious. Orbage. Ah, full of energy and tastes like healing. Yummy. I should get the iron pickaxe soon. Bad. 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 Thank you! Swing, swing, swing. I like the visitor to the unknown track, it's very nice. The banana duck shall descend upon your workplace, specifically those who do not lock their computer. Oh my gosh, no, Ark. Okay, why would you do that? You could do so much worse. Like, you can get them ran somewhere. Not ran somewhere. Ran somewhere. It's a Toho virus, quote-unquote. Basically, it's like, beat this Toho stage with a certain score and you won't actually be able to... And you will actually be able to get to your stuff. And it's like, meanwhile, some people, oh, this is easy. Other people, why is it so hard? Why is this fox game so hard? Run somewhere, yeah. Ah. There's 
the ransomware that forced you to get good at Toho in order to get rid of it. There's a balance between making a point and making unnecessary work for yourself. I mean, it'd be hilarious for her. She's like, there's nothing I can do. You have to beat the game. And it's just like, it's a stupid virus, but it's great. Hide the Chrome browser itself. I mean, what I would do is that I would hide the Chrome shortcut or just delete Chrome altogether and just download Firefox to fuck with them. No, 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 no. Do not touch. Do not touch. I just realized I better go quick. Fuck. Uh, oh, shit. Yep, come on. Alright. Alright, quick. Gotta go down before it's one. And before it's two. Yeah, there's no way I'm going through that. Alright. Mmm, I forgot. Last floor to the, the next one is always a deep one. It was spiral levels, yeah. Just take off keycaps and rearrange them. Mmm, <laughs> yeah, that's a good one. It's like, I've got the energy to go through them. I just don't have the sanity or the time to go through them. Because I would have lost all this good loot. I mean, there's more you can do to fuck with people if you want to. Alright. I freaking love my just giant field of bullshit. Yeah. I guess I'm just selling that one. No, I haven't checked Chicago in a while. I should actually go do that soon. Sup, cat? <sighs> There's something magical just about the rolling clouds there. Feels beautiful. Feels so nice. Personally, I think you should attach a wireless USB mouse to someone you really don't like and just occasionally just move the mouse slowly. <laughs> you gotta be in range of them. All right, weather. Some kind of anomalous reading? I don't know what, what the fuck. The excuse? Pancakes! Sometimes you get carried away with fancy complicated dishes, but there's something comforting about a simple pancake. You'll want a slathered butter and maple syrup with these form stacks. Yeah, pancakes actually sound good for supper. Oh, thank you for following me. Welcome back to Tilly Academy. Hope you have a lovely time while you're here as I question what's going on next. My throat's about as dry as a desert bone. I'm real thirsty for a pail. You got one? I girl old beer won't do. Hmm, sure. There's the blues. Right, Alex wants a sunfish. We don't have any. Oh, we do have one. Blues. Berries that are blue. And a poppy! Yay! Hmm. Yes, take care. Thank you so much for stopping by, by the way. It makes my day much better. Okay. Oh, the blueberries now have a little bit of like brown there to show that's like coming off the vine. That's really cute. Yep, yeah, Mion, please. You're dancing with fire there, Mion, and not in a good way. Do not make me get Gustav the Rail Cannon. Okay, blueberries gone. Uh, birds, anyone? You don't get to just step off of that with just- oh, birds? Alright. Let's go see what these chickens are doing. There's something up with these chickens. Chick on. Hmm. 
good. Focus your problems. Realize that you're happening with stuff that's weird. That you should wash yourself before you screw yourself over. <laughs> Sell the berries and the poppy and the wiener squash. I'll actually give some wiener squash and blueberries out. Um, you need to go into there, as do you two. Will you all. I think nine blueberries to give out is good. Let's work our way down. Hmm, because Alex needs to get his sunfish. I'll spend the day fishing. Yeah, my arm feels a lot better, but still. Ugh. You always get those, like, weird freaking, like, pimples. Just on your eye area. It's like, no. Not styes, they're like actual pimples. Turns out these two that for a signal. Gotcha. Beyond your obsession is concerning. Have that. Husband almost set the house on fire last night with his science experiment. One of his beakers exploded and sent a fireball into the rafters. Think of uh, used fire resistant lacquer when I built the place. Yeah. All right, what do you need to upgrade some shit? Stone, seaweed, and green. I can make the fish pond. Oh, wait. Is she my friend enough now? No, I need to become friends with her more. Would you like a wiener squash? Very interesting specimen, yes. Don't forget to check that cave. There's bound to be something you can useful in there by now. Mm. It's just for spook factor. Gotcha. Savvy! Are you still asleep? Alright. I have to deal with the anomalous reading tomorrow. Which is interesting. Jeez. Why is my hair sticking to itself? Do you need to take a shower? Stack electricity? Hmm. Hello there, community board. What you got for me? Fire course for Penny. That can be done. Mm. Oh, it's video game time. Someone's stinky. Mion. Hey, I'm here now. Hello. With your SNES. Yes, it's me. Yangarang. With my armor, my witch hat, and my goth boots. You scared me sneaking into my room like that. So I've been playing Journey of the Prairie King for hours. I can't even beat the first level. This game is ridiculously hard. Well, either that or I'm just terrible at it. Hmm, yeah. Hey, do you want to try this level together with me? I think I might do better with your help. Hooray! Sneaking with giant goth boots is a skill. Fuck yeah. I I'm wearing, like, actual armor. And it's just like, okay. Here they come. Gabos. Gabos. Yep. Just gather all the stuff and we'll be good. Constantly gather everything. Shoot non stop and be good. It's really easy. And she died. Well, dang. Bang. Okay. Yeah, this game is so hard. Meanwhile, me dying at every single option, basically. Easy enough. 
One thing is skipping you from 100% achievement. Yeah, I think that's kind of the same with me too. Like, I don't want to just spend time playing the video games. Ugh. I like that she's actually, like, kind of sucky right now. I nearly got got at the end. But she did good. Alright. Hey, that was fun! Thanks, Yang Ray. Didn't know you'd know how to work a joystick so well. That seems you're experienced. Mmm, many reasons why, Abigail. Many reasons why. <laughs> anyway, hello. Summer seeds available. Oh, that's so hot in here. Mmm. Uh, actually, would you like a blueberry? You're welcome. Blueberries. Would you like a wiener squash? Yay. You don't like wiener squash? Okay. Hey, George, would you like a blueberry? There's your blueberry. Can I go in here yet? It's time to get high! I know how to work a joystick confirmed, yes. Oh, hi! Good morning. I'm glad you came in. I've been meaning to show you this. It's my private sunroom. I want a big room like that. Full of plants and everything. It'll be looking great. So what do you think? Beautiful. Very relaxing. When I stand here, I feel calm and relaxed right away. It's really therapeutic. Time for Carolyn's special tea, indeed. This is my sanctuary. A place where I can always find peace. And drugs. Perfect place to drink my homegrown tea. Here, let's have a cup. Side effects may include green hair, going crazy, and absolute disgruntledness towards my daughter. Shall I have a cup? Delicious. I love to come in here for a fresh cup of tea every day. It's my little ritual. Um, let me try to explain. Tea. Very green tea. When I'm alone with a relaxing tea, my mind is empty and free to wander. It microdosed me. Who knows what might appear? Ah, yes, the little monkey man. Yeah. Your tea has some interesting effects, Carol. I hope that makes sense. Life can be pretty hectic, so having a hobby like this is nice. Ah, nothing like pot. Feel free to come here and relax anytime you want, okay? Sure. Uh, it's the two heart event with Carol. And you can always come in here and get tea leaves right here once per day. It's very nice. <laughs> Are you feeling relaxed? I bet. We're hiding here so we don't have to talk to anyone. Wait! It was the previous owners who built the altar room. We weren't religious, but we let the other townsfolk use it if they want. So they're literally just- <laughs> They're fucking hiding! Oh my gosh. She's like, come into my head shop and get baked whenever. Basically, and I love it. Actual garbage. I need to give Alex his fish. Alright, who wants blueberries and fish? Evelyn, have a blueberry. Sweet peas are in bloom right now. They got a wonderful fragrance, haven't they? Mmm. What the fuck is that? Is he selling ice cream today, or is he at the beach? It's not a coincidence her hair is green, yeah. Pam, you want a bloob? Good, you like bloobs. Are you friends with Gus? He's a pretty good guy. Yeah, I tried to be. I tried to be friends with Gus, but you took the tea and just drank it right in front of him. Probably spit it out because it wasn't alcohol, you freaking dim little trailer park piece of garbage. Oh, that's sweet. Thank you. Mmm. Oh, I wish you said more, guys. You are so cool. It's like, I love all the small characters. I don't like the main characters as much as I should for some people. Hey, there you go. You still need your fish? 
Yes, you do. And Penny needs a fire quartz. There we go, and thank you for your money. Do you like blueberries? You do like blueberries. Gus or Pam? I thought Pam is a huge trash. See, here's the thing. Pam is garbage, but I was mean to give the tea to Gus. And I don't like Pam, so hey. Thanks. Yeah, sure, Clint. Don't you have work to do? Don't you have less bitchiness to be? And anyone in the library right now? Nope, no one's in the library. Uh, Gunther, I wish I could be friends with you. Small! Me just giving blueberries to everyone to see if they like them. Now, I'm going to be going to the wizard anyway. I can probably just, like, get some dark essence and such. Here, Emily, you're blue. Have a blueberry. Enjoy. It's around this time of year that my good friend visits the region. I mean, parrots. Okay, you have one in your room. Hello. Hi there, miss. Shane's gone a lot in the hot mornings, busy all the time, so I have to put my old games. Thank you for all your toys. Mm. Ooh, moss. Shouldn't cut the trees downtown. Well, too bad I want the moss. That moss is tasty. It's weird that the only new recipe is freaking moss soup. Like, why? <laughs> There's so many other things we can make, but no, moss soup. Mm. Makes me wonder if Vintage Story has any updates going on soon. Mmm, moss and tea. Hey, this is actual moss I'm eating. This isn't some weird junk that is claiming to be moss. Like many people would expect. Alrighty, let's get some dark essence. I really need to get a recycling machine up. How much does that cost? Uh, wood, iron bar, and stone. That's doable. Just gotta... There we go. Alright. Mayonnaise. You know what? Shane probably likes mayo. These trees are growing crazy. As well as Chicago. Wait, I was supposed to go through and actually get the freaking... Chicago has given us many things. Thank you, Chicago. But still, it's like... There are many things that we could be doing, and chopping down all the trees is one of them. Pelican Town is cartel controlled. I could see that. I could very much see that. My torches. Alright, who wants some mayo? Not in that way. Actually, I think I have a Leia event I can do. Only Leia's friend can enter in. Fuck, we're not friends with Leia. Oh well. Shane, you want some mayo? Oh shoot, right. Found the lucky purple shorts. Here, have some mayo. Hey, farmer. So I stopped up here the other night and brought a salmonberry jelly. It was the first time I've seen one of those in a while. Put it on for dinner last night. Filled the house with a different odor. I don't even want to know where Pierre found that thing. Anyway. Hey there, it's good to see you. Yeah? Hmm. 410. Can I put a microwave pizza to nor should I wait? Hmm. So, she's saying that our jelly made the house stink. Hmm. Shane is finally something good to eat. I mean, yeah. Shane's a good guy. He likes his eggs. Finally, some good fucking food. So about those shorts, yeah, I know what I can do with them. I could have put them in the luau for one. But still. Rhubarb pie, rice pudding, seafoam pudding, pomegranate fruit salad, eggplant seeds, oak chair, and there's another chair, rare seed. Might as well get another rare seed. Thank you, that's actually some good stuff. 
Finally, some good fucking loot. Meanwhile, Alex just straight up crunches a raw egg in front of the player. Yes, eggplant emoji. And we also have the wiener squash. Maybe we'll be neighbors someday. I think we both have similar weird taste. Weird indeed. Looks like an orange. Orange. Oh yeah, I gave Abigail a gift today. Whoopsies. Yes, Bird and I are heading out to town for a bit. Hope you have a lovely time there. Ah, this is imbued with a potent arcane energy. This is very useful for my studies. Thank you. Sometimes I've observed the village as a secret. I'm gonna find an apprentice. Someday I will leave the mortal plane, but my arcane pursuits must continue. Hmm. Well, I'll at least supply you with drugs. Imagine giving Abby anything other than a rock. I mean, sometimes she needs to eat some other food with different nutrients. Sometimes she gets hungry for the other stuff. <laughs> you know, food. Hat mouse, hat mouse, what she got? Hat mouse. Little cat, butterfly cat, official cat, polka dot bow. Governor's hat. We could just walk around with a fucking pimp hat? Maybe. Purple's not my color much, but maybe. We are getting moss galore. Oh my god, have the moss. Moss, moss, tasty moss. Spoiler, also the wizard has a kid in Pelican Town. Yeah, I know. Yeah, she was right fucking there. Moss. So much moss. We got nine clumps of moss. Okay, there's more moss. There's just more moss! Why so much moss? Shoot, I should be going into the secret woods. Because there's fiddlehead ferns, and I think I actually need those. No, but the forager's bundle needs that. Corn, jack lantern, mmm. Alrighty. This is moss moss. I like that. That's cute. Cute way of saying that we're getting a lot of moss. There's just more moss! We're gonna be eating well tonight! I'm gonna get rid of this down real quick. Get rid of the stoner real quick. There's just more moss up there, too. And now we're up here. Ah, oh, that makes me happy. Mmm. Away from my return for the dawn of your third year. All right, Grandpa. When I went to my pre-1.6 farm, getting moss was a struggle. Yeah! Because moss is weird. Updates are weird. I am weird. All right, rare seed gotten, because we're going to need that eventually. Alright, give me the goober. Do I need to get those for the fall forging? Yeah, I just need to get the blackberry for the fall forging. That bad. Kinda sad you can't make dandelion wine. Because that's an actual thing. Hey Tack, when do you want to start modding things? <laughs> I am winning, Yamba. Thank you for checking. How are you feeling today, game, Mr. Wooper? Oh, I really need to redo some art for sure. Hey, DIY. Now I prefer DIE. It's 
tonight if you wanna. I'm always up for it. Well, I want to figure out how to mod first. But it's like, I have all these other projects that I need to actually do. So it's like, hmm. Uh, refined quartz. Where's my quartz? There's my quartz. Quartz! And I may as well make more iron while I'm, I'm actually gonna make more gold while I wait. Work was a bit dumb, but nothing couldn't handle since it was a short day. Mm. Short dag. Modding tends to be pretty easy these days. I know, but still, it feels like there's just something weird with like modding certain games. Alright, so tomorrow we get to deal with the weird shit that's gonna go on soon, so I'm just gonna kind of prepare a bit, maybe? Because I am concerned. All right. Stones. All right. Concern. Hmm. I could get rid of one of these corn plants and put one of these here. I might have to. Just so I don't have to ever actually do that. Hmm. Yeah. All right. Now, I'm gonna actually get rid of you and one of you. There we go. Now I don't have to. Well, actually, I'm gonna have to worry that soon because the bottom has all that shit there. Fuck. Grumble, grumble, grumble. Mixed flower seeds. Let's put. Okay. Let's have a good night and see if this monstrosity that's happening tomorrow with the weather. Mmm, corn. Corn is good. I like my corn. Alright. Your orange tree wasn't able to grow- what do you mean it wasn't able to grow tonight? The green rain has ascended on the valley. Oh. What the fuck? The fuck? Um... This is indeed green rain. All the trees grew- what the fuck are these trees? This is weird. Yeah, um... What the fuck? Hey kid, thanks for the cheese cauliflower recipe. Thanks for stopping by my sunroom, and we have that. Okay, cool. Um, don't drink this rain, anyone. Saw the weather report last night. I'm not sure what will happen, but if anyone wants to take shelter in the saloon, I'll keep it all open all day. Okay, what? Mossy seed. This can be planted to grow rare wild trees. What the fuck? The chicken coop wasn't green before, was it? Chickens, are you okay? Okay. Um, concern? visit people. These are some funky trees. Everyone takes shelter, barricading the windows as the trees press in. Ugh. Interesting trees. Moss everywhere. 
So what, you plants just go crazy in this weather? That explains why the orange tree didn't grow last night. Yep, the orange tree is surrounded by everything. Big old bushes. Yeah, okay, everything grew crazy. Interesting. Wait, I wonder what's in the secret woods right now. Oh, ho, 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 ho. wait a moment. Wait, wait, wait. Chicago. Oh, even the cave is a bit wonky. Okay. Okay, this is just weird. I gotta make a harvest. I don't think anyone would wanna buy these crops off me, but okay. Oh, the star fruit's ready too. Shit, uh, I suppose I'm wrong on it. It's order the stick. Hold on, wait, what? Hold on, let me go back. Let me read chat because my tablet decided to fuck up something. Uh -oh. Okay. Imagine the rain looks like a weird one night, but now you need a machete to get out of your house. The trees are attacking to run for your life! Asking if anyone wants to take shelter. Yeah. Well, I've got this mossy seed now. Concern, to say the least. All right, I'm going to I'm going to go check on people. All right. Oh shit. are freaking everywhere. Wait, let me get out one of my chairs first. Some web comics that actually did like finish at some point. Yeah. The fact that Order of the Stick will end someday is weird. Here, uh, have some moss that came from this green rain. Okay, just the fact that... How is it looking town? Yep, they're everywhere. Okay. What the fuck? That's a giant fern! Some of the plants have grown giant, too. Oh my gosh. Okay, let's see the saloon. Okay, hi, everyone. Oh, um, you found them? Where, uh, yeah, mm hmm Yeah, uh, yeah, cool. Uh, Lewis, you're not gonna say anything? Cool. I hope the weird rain don't bother the fish. It could ruin my life. My, I am from the Almighty. We're doomed. Yeah. I'm wondering what's going on. I brought some medical supplies just in case. Be careful out there. Okay. I saw the weather report last night. Really gave me a scare. Are there monsters out there? What's happening? Uh, giant trees. Last night. No Let's not get into tizzy now, Gus. I propose a round of drinks to settle the nerves. I don't think I've ever set foot in this place. It's actually kind of cozy. Situation like this where a person's true character is put to the test. Yes. I'll keep them... I mean, I'll keep them safe in the rain, yeah. There must be something beyond behind this. Nature's trying to tell us something. What, though? I can't tell. It's hard to read. 
feel a strong presence though. Mm. Wizard man. All right, I'm gonna go see if anyone else is dead. All right, let's go check on everyone. Oh, the TV's busted too. What's going on there? Any action? Nah. George, dear, is this the end? It's been a good life, but I'd like to see Alex find his way before departing. There, there, honey, don't you worry. Even if it is poisonous, I breathe in more noxious gas than one minute back in the old coal mine, but I'm still kicking. George was kind of the person that I would feel like would just grab a shotgun and would go outside and just be ready for everyone. Hey, how is everyone? I've never seen green rain before. Must be too dangerous if you made it here. Must not be too dangerous. Can't go exploring, but I can tell my mom is kind of worried. Don't want to add to her stress. No customers. Anymore, there's green rain and my ledger will be in the red. I mean, buddy. Be glad you're kind of alive and this is just green. George being a good man for his wife. George is a good man. Alright. We gotta check on everyone. Oh shit, how's Linus actually now that I think about it? Yeah, no one's home here. Hey, how's it going? We'll go outside and play. You alright? We've never seen anything like this before. Mm. My husband was here. He knew exactly what to do. What? Is it acid? Will it burn through the roof and sizzle us alive? How to keep my little brother safe? Sam is a good older brother. Okay, trees growing everywhere. Oh my gosh! Okay then! Alright, uh, Marty, you in? Hey, everyone. The plants are all slightly bigger. Interesting. You're not worried about this rain? It does put me at ease a little bit. I'm scared. I don't have to go to work, so I'm not complaining. <laughs> Fucking Shane. I just let the cows suck themselves in. Mmm. Slightly bigger. Yeah, all the plants are slightly bigger. Oh shit, I can't talk to Leia because she's in there. Mm. This is good for getting the seeds and everything, though. This is a very nifty giant fern for big food. Gotta check on everyone. Sensei, Tech has a question for you. Yes. It's not that broken. Yes, yeah, on. You have a question for me. What is the question? What's the best way to clean it? Oh, the water bottle. Okay. Um, I would honestly let it soak if it's not like a big deal for some of it. Yes, tablet. I know it's running out of power. But honestly, um, if you need to clean out a water bottle that's been sitting for a while and has some gunk in it, just scrub it really good on the inside if it's a reusable one. Big ferns. I'm sorry. Classic pair. Sorry. Alright, let's go into the secret woods and see what the fuck is going on. Yeah, it's kind of fucked up in here. Very much fucked up. Ugh. Slimes, you okay? Does this impact the mines in any way? Or the beach, even. Meanwhile, me farming some moss to eat later. Yeah, we'll check on the wizard in a moment. Um. Yeah, I was stuck in there a bit. Okay. That damn chair. It's such a good invention. Chairs. Okay. 
My main concern is, is the wizard behind this? Okay, after today, I'm going to check the wiki and see, like, what's different and everything. Hey, wizard, what the fuck are you doing? Though the unusual rains my alarming, there's nothing to fear on this day. In fact, it is a day of great joy for many living things. What is it, though? I'm going to go find everyone else. Have you checked Robin, too? I'm going to do that soon. I'm just concerned... Concern. Fucker speaking like a bloodborne character. Yeah. Okay, the trees are more creepy than anything. Because like all the maple trees are kinda gone. Yeah, they got replaced by those. So do the trees just stick around, or what? And I'm not asking- him. oh jeez, even on the streets. Oh jeez! Alright. Please be okay. What the fuck?! Um... Where is everyone? Are they all in the basement? Hi! I want to go collect samples from my dad, but my mom is interesting to stay here, yeah. I'm almost freaking out, but I'm actually kind of enjoying this. I bet the frogs are going wild out there. The man is insane! Why does he have to go out there? We have no idea if this rain is dangerous. Well, I'm breathing. Reminds me of a line from a book where a guy gets possessed said, No, the star brings life, not death, and just comes out of the trance. Hmm. Hi, Demetrius. What are you doing? Don't mind me, Yang Rang. I'm just collecting some samples. Maybe once in a lifetime opportunity. Or if you see my wife, can you tell her I'm okay? Yeah. I'll leave you to collecting samples. I wonder what Gunther's doing. Oh, shoot. We've not actually gone to the freaking... Railway in a bit. Not much in the way of stuff over here. Kind of samey, if anything. Like, a couple more plants grew and that's about it. We are going to be eating like queens today. Linus, you in there not dead? He's chilling. All these strange trees will be gone tomorrow. It's one of the mysteries of nature. Oh, okay. So they will be gone tomorrow. Better get the food while I can, really. <laughs> Alright, what are you all doing in the survival hut? And it's really beautiful. Hi. Um, not gonna comment on it. Just an average Tuesday for you all, okay? Linus has seen it before. Yeah, but still, it's like they're treating it like just an average Tuesday. What's the community center like? Are the Junimos giant? <laughs> Please tell me they're giant because they're like apple bastards. Wait, that counts as foraging XP? Yeah, that counts as foraging XP, okay. Hoping the slimes would be big. I know! There's a mossy seed. Nope, they're not giant. Fuck! I was hoping that they'd be, like, freaking out and moving around and everything. Mm. 
Mm. See, I was not expecting this today. I knew the green rain existed, but I was not expecting it to be fucking giant. You mean the giant ferns? No, I already talked to Demetrius. He's just gathering samples. I'll go home when I'm dead. I'm gonna go check on Gunther. Somebody has to. I should go check on the beach, too. See if there's anything weird. Hi there. J really? Okay. I thought he'd have some line. It's like, oh yeah, we had this a couple of years ago. Nope, beach has nothing. Actually, where's... No, Willie is in the bar. So, Willie's okay. Everyone's okay for the most part. Everyone's chill. Kind of. Alright, let's go home. Does Gunther sleep? No, Gunther doesn't really sleep. He's just existing on his chair. He's one of those NPCs that are shop NPCs, but I really wish it weren't just shop NPCs. Any other good trees around here that I can shop because I want some delicious fiddlehead ferns because that is some good food. Wait, they nerfed it a bit! No, they made the food worse! Oh. Hi, I'm doing decent. I'm just experiencing my first green rain. I'm just kind of concerned because the TV is out and I wanted to see what the weather would be like tomorrow if we'd get like normal rain or what. I'm just sad. Oh shit, it's late. Oh shit. No! Level 6 foraging. Oh, that's spooky. So! I wonder what gets looted from our person. Nothing, but we paid money. Okay. All right, let me go look up the green rain. Yeah, I'm doing good. My uh, my arm's like feeling a bit better. Okay, green rain in Stardew Valley. Oh, the green rain trees actually have a unique state. Hmm. Hmm. Gotcha. Wait, we can tap the fiddlehead fern trees to get more ferns every day? That is gross. What the fuck? Okay, mossy seed. able to grow into the two tree types. Green rain. Green rain occurs randomly once each summer, only possible in the following dates. 5, 6, 7, 14, 15, 16, 18, and 23. The community center room or part of the Jojo uh, community center development farm has been completed prior to the green rain. The ward cutscene during the night will show the green rain. Translucent green visual effect will appear on doors. Green rain trees and weeds spawn in large quantities throughout the, their entire valley, except on the beach and in the Calico Desert. Trees outdoors are affected by green rain as follows. Every tree sapling of stage 1 has a 50% chance to grow to stage 4. All tree stage of 2 or 3 will grow to stage 4 automatically. After these two steps, all tree saplings of stage 4 will grow as if they had gone through 3 nights. Each fully grown tree has a 50% chance to be covered in moss. Mm. Every fully grown uh, oak tree or maple tree has a 75% chance to turn into a temporary green tree for the duration of the green rain. Okay. The telephone cannot be used, the jukebox and star drop saloon and the mini jukebox do not play. Green rain bushes yield 15 foraging XP per bush when destroyed. Temporary green rain trees on the farm have a chance to spread, meaning the next day you can find stage 1 green rain trees. 
harvestable for a mossy seed next to trees that have returned to their original types. In the first years, most villagers will stay indoors all day, except for Ur, Demetrius, Linus, and Leia. I didn't see Leia. Fuck. Buildings accessible by players can be entered at any time of the day, regardless of the usual hours. And some bedrooms will be accessible without heart requirements. Players cannot give gifts to villagers during green rain in year one. Why did that work for you, Lewis, then? Ugh. Okay. Interesting! I might leave it here. It's basically fertilizer rain, yeah. Or I might play some Hades. Hmm. Temptations. Yeah, it was enough. Nice time. I think I should leave it here. Annie, are you going to stream tonight or no? Because if so, I will raid into you. If not, I'll just raid into someone else. Mm hmm. That's fun indeed. No stream? Okay. Anywho, let's see who to raid. Alrighty. Oy, 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 my arm. Okay. Uh, Semi's doing art. We raided her recently, though. Uh, Cory is doing art as well. Everyone's doing art. I should draw sometime soon. Mmm, let me actually close out of Stardew. We have so much moss. Boop. Alright. Who to raid? Who to raid? Who to raid? Uh, Wander's doing Genshin. Spawn's doing whatever. You know what? I've not raided Pheasant in a while. Oh, she has two S's in her name. There we go. If you have the emotes, do good old-fashioned flu raid, but according to Twitch, follower emotes don't have to go into every channel. If you want, you can just copy and paste this lovely thing, and I shall see you all later. For now, let's go. Boop. It's not my wrist, it's my arm. My wrist is fine. I do not have wanker's cramp, thankfully. Anyway, I shall see you all later. Let's go.